Good morning, nerds. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back. Good to see you all here for The Rift Breaker, a game available now on Steam. If you want to pick this one up, it is very similar to... I'd say it's like They Are Billions, except you get to command the robot. Uh, it reminds me of, like, uh, for example, uh, maybe Supreme Commander, where you get to command the robot of that one, except... When you build your base, your first person, or well, not first person, but you're direct controlling, it's a top-down game, and you're direct controlling the bot in order to build your base. Building walls, defenses, mining, uh, storage, power production. Think a little bit like uh, Factorio, and They Are Billions, and Supreme Commander, and you got yourself the Rift Breaker. We've checked out this game a few times before on the channel, and it's good. It's damn good. And it uh, wasn't complete before, because we played the demo and the prologue, but now... We're going to play the full version. So welcome back, everybody. Good to see you all here. Hope you're all enjoying today's stream. Now, the developers also are doing a giveaway today. So the link in the description, they're giving away a GPU from AMD. So if you want to learn more about that, make sure you check out their uh, link in the description and also a link to check out the game, too. And today's stream is sponsored by the developers, too. So thanks to them for sponsoring today's live stream. And thanks to you guys for almost one million subscribers. I think we'll be playing this game a bit more than just today, too, because it's just that fun. Typically, that's kind of how it goes, is that developers will reach out for a sponsored stream, and I'll enjoy it so much that we end up playing it way more times. So, welcome. Good to see you all here. You guys are the best. All right. How many years have I been doing YouTube? Well, the channel started in 05, but it's really like the last five years that we've been so serious about everything. It's been good. All right, we're going to get the Rift Breakers uh, fired up. There's kind of like a little prologue tutorial that explains a little bit more of what's going on. So we're going to we're gonna do the uh, tutorial slash prologue, which is kind of just like a little introductory mission. And then we're going to get into the real game. So bear with me for one second as we get the game on screen. And we shall begin in about uh, 10 seconds here. Let's see. All right. Uh, just a moment. Started on my other monitor. There we go. All right, that should do. Uh, I better not touch any of that. Perfect. They're giving away a giant... A giant pizza unit. Yes, indeed. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I, I pulled it back onto my other monitor. Well, this didn't give me that trouble last night. Ah, we'll get it. Bum, bum, bum. Well, let's see if it can do that again. Let's try borderless window. Nope, it brings it back over onto the other monitor. The monitor. Wow, there's ray tracing in this game too? That's crazy. Try it, putting it on this monitor and see what happens. All right, stand by one second. Oh, it keeps putting it on this monitor all the way over here, dude. That's strange. Let's see, language, tutorial objectives, vi oh, vibration, playable with a controller, it seems. Oh, 
Oh, there's a 24-hour clock. Show damage number on enemies. Oh, man, there is a, there's a lot to this one. And very beautiful, too, apparently. Very beautiful game with all the options here for stuff. Holy crap. Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Wow. Well, there you go. Your AMD Fidelity FX Super Re uh, Resolution 1.0 is a cutting-edge, super-optimized spatial upscaling technology that produces an impressive image quality at fast frame rates. Ooh, fancy. Very fancy indeed. Well, let's see. Yeah, I want to play this on my main monitor, so I'm just trying to get it to uh, to play onto the first one. Uh, let's see, camera shake, dynamic. Well, let's go to 62. I don't know if YouTube can handle that. Wait, I don't know what maximum is. Never mind. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's see. Um. Yeah, there's not an option for me to select what monitor this opens on. When I go full screen, it's bringing it to my far right monitor, which is going to be a little tricky at the moment. Let's see. I gave this a little practice last night, and it was working just fine on my main monitor, so I'm trying to figure out how to get it onto the... Uh... Uh, the giveaway from the devs was uh, right now. It just ended. Okay. Well, there's going to be a few a few giveaways as well, so make sure you guys join our Discord because uh, we will have an additional one to uh, give away too. If, if we if we get more to give away, make sure you jump on the Discord. There was some there was some chat about us doing a giveaway too, so make sure you're on that Discord. All right, let's see. If I go windowed, that works fine. If I go borderless window, yeah, it jumps over to this far right monitor. Redeem codes, streaming. Oh yeah, this is cool too. This game actually has the option to be able to um, like enter a, some Twitch information. So if you stream on Twitch, you can connect your account, and then the audience can like mess with you with positive or negative effects, which is pretty cool. <laughs> People can kind of troll you or help you out in the game, which is pretty pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna exit the game for a second and see if I can do a launch option. Is there a way, chat? Who, who's big brain in chat to like force a game to open on a certain monitor steam force game to open on monitor otherwise I won't be able to uh, play without like looking directly to my right and then I won't be able to read chat I didn't see an option for that okay so it says here shift wind shift and win key also it Let's see. When a game is first starting, press shift and win key and then left arrow or right arrow. Okay, we'll see if that works. Just want to make sure it's not it's not me. I promise it's not me. Also, this game, uh, I have a thing on screen that says Epic Game Store, but I don't I don't think it's available on Epic Game Store. So just disregard that. Alright, we're gonna try that again. Shift, win key, left. There we go. <laughs> it was that simple. Sometimes the uh, best solutions are the simplest. All right, we shall begin now. There we go. All right, cool. So if you're just joining us again, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back. Good to see you all here for the Rift Breaker. This game essentially is, as I mentioned previously, like Supreme Commander with base building. That reminds me of like StarCraft, a little bit of Supreme Commander, but also they are billions. So this uh, robot that we're going to have to control or this mech suit called Mr. Riggs is, um, no, he's part like minor and part like battle suit. So it's, it's pretty cool. So we're going to start the prologue, which is kind of just like a demo, uh, or really like a tutorial, but it kind of tells a little bit about the story, why they're here on this planet and what they're doing. And then we're going to go into a, a fresh new campaign and check it out. So anyway, welcome aboard. Check out the, uh, links in the description too, by the way, and also pinned in the chat if you'd like to, uh, Enter their GPU giveaway and whatnot, and uh, we shall begin with the Rift Breaker. Good to see you all here. Oh boy. 
Wow, we're 24,000 light years from Earth. Riftbreaker Ashley reporting successful jump procedure. Roger that. Begin field base setup. She's dropping cubes. Houston, I've spotted something near the LZ. It's closing in. Uh-oh. Don't rely on one source of energy. Some events might cripple you and... Uh, critical situations always have a variety of power plants at your disposal. Load screen tips. Oh boy. Good music. Rip jump successful. Sensors online. Weapons activated. We're ready to go. Rift Breaker Novak, please report. We're cutting the grass. Houston, this is Ashley. Reporting rift jump successful. Roger that. Begin field base setup. Ashley. That's what they're after, these crystals, I think. To secure our presence here. It will allow me to reconstruct if my armor is destroyed. We don't have enough carbonium to build an HQ. Let's scout for a deposit and set up our base close to it. We need to move quick. It's probably a matter of time before the natives spot us. We've located a carbonium deposit. Okay, move on to the deposit and start drilling. All right, this looks good already. I, I enjoy this game. Why does the enemy always have better stuff and things? Well, it seems like the enemy is a bunch of creatures, so it's kind of reminding me of uh, Starship Troopers a bit already. Go to 80 and see how that sounds. Oh, there's a quick save, too. Oh, that's nice. Wait, what are those things at the top? Oh, you can press escape and go to re... Oh, there's things to research. Build a communication hub to enable research. Oh, so we can research base and buildings, weapons and equipment, and then alien research. I mean, guys, I'm not saying it's aliens, but... It's aliens. Um... Oh, dude, yeah, okay, so we can... Oh, this is great. Look at all the upgrades for the mech. Skills and consumables... Uh, then we can upgrade, on our left hand is like uh, blades and weapons and whatnot, and on the right side it's the same. So we might be able to like dual wield guns and stuff, that's cool. And it looks like there's upgrades, energy armor and armor plating. So we've got a shield and then uh, armor that we can upgrade, and then mods and appearance. Oh, we can change our appearance. Oh, badass. Okay, that's pretty nice. Yellow is probably better though, so I can actually see it. Uh, crafting. Oh my god, it's a survival crafting game. <laughs> Build an armory to enable crafting. So it looks like we've got ranged weapons, melee weapons, movement skills, skills, and upgrades. Oh, and then here's all the resources in the lower right corner. Uh, carbonium, ironium, cobalt, pal palladium, uranium, crude uranium, titanium, uh, ferdonite, tanzanite, Hazenite and R Rodonite. Wow, okay, so the, so the reason that Earth is probably here is because of the super, super rare resources. Those don't seem like they're very common, so obviously we're doing a little bit of mining. And this is our headquarters, orbital scanner building unavailable. I think actually right now what's going on is this is like a, a simulation. Like it, it looks like we're on a planet, but it's actually like VR. It's a, it's a computer simulation. Local objectives. Set up a base and gather carbonium. Okay. What does that say? Threat level midnight. Okay. Uh, carbonium is our predominant resource. So there's nothing else really in this area. Oh. There's a whole database on aggressive fauna. Neutral fauna. Flora. And other. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, nuggets are a rare resource, chat. You're right, that rare dipping sauce. And event log, one out of two. Okay, so we can read the whole chat and all the research that we've completed. So they gave us, like, a few things for free. 
Okay, wow, this game this game does a good job of like organizing stuff. Look at that. There's like a way to filter all the conversations and you can listen to the audio again. Okay. Move on to the deposit and start drilling. Damn, that's nice. Wow. That's Poglad right there, chat. Okay, let's mine some carbonium. We'll keep mining a little bit more than 200. We've gathered enough resources to construct a headquarters building. Finally. Let's place it close to a carbonium deposit. This will help us speed up resource production. Okay. Time to build the HQ. Headquarters. Central building is your uh, in your base. It allows for a mecha suit to reconstruct. Includes a rift portal and provides storage facilities. Protect this building at all costs. Uh, let's build it down here. HQ construction in progress. Sometimes I wish we could fast forward this part of the simulation. It's all a simulation. Let me remind you that even though this is a simulated training exercise, you are expected to perform as if it was your real mission on Galatea 37. Yes, sir. We need to expand the base. Let's build a carbonium factory to do the digging for us. Yes, we've got much more interesting things to do. Let's automate this. Carbonium factory produces carbonium. It must be placed on carbonium ore and powered with an energy uh, with energy to operate. Okay. Um, I don't see a way to see if it's more effective mining. I would assume it if we put it here or here, it's the same amount then. Let's set it here though for starters. It's really cool. Like a you can see like a drone pop out of our back. And it's like a 3D printer, you know, like it, it's those cubes that they kind of showed at the start. And then it just like starts constructing the building. Looks like a little autonomous cube thingy. Our base will require huge amounts of power to operate. Right now, we can only construct some basic power plants. Wind turbines and carbonium power plants. Wind turbines are less effective, but they work around the clock. Carbonium power plants are very effective, but they use up the deposits that they are placed on. In the beginning, it's best to use a combination of these power sources. We can balance energy peaks and shortages by storing excess energy in energy storages. Also, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid using energy connectors. They connect all buildings within their area of operation, even if power lines are not visible. Ashley, Remember to connect all buildings to the power grid. Energy connectors distribute power to all buildings within their operating radius. Ashley, I'm detecting a lot of movement to the west. We should build up a defensive perimeter around the base. Let's set up some walls and sentinel towers. Focus our defenses on the western direction. They never changed the beginning of this exercise. Captain Novak. We all know your renowned scientific background, but your combat performance in the previous simulation was far from spectacular. Slaughtering indigenous creatures was never my area of expertise. Since you've already done this a couple of times, we've introduced some new additions to this course. We'll see what your area of expertise really is. Uh, build a wall of 30 pieces, build six sentinel towers. Okay. Oh yeah, that guy does sound like you must construct additional pylons, doesn't he? For sure. Uh, can we zoom in and out with the scroll wheel? Uh, it does not look like we are able to do that at the moment. Oh, it looks like the enemy's going to attack from the west. Well, this game has a day-night cycle. The lighting looks awesome. The shadows look really cool. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of materials to build this wall and all the guns. Apparently we can build energy storage. Let's build it next to the base. Sounds pretty important. Oh. I'm holding shift so I can construct multiple, but it builds like a, a turbo booster. Oh, boosters and windmills? Uh-oh. Uh, 
Carbonium factory. Okay. I guess we can build another one here. Yeah, if you want to mine more of the Carbonium, you have to build multiple buildings, but there might also be a way to upgrade these to harvest more or to dig maybe deeper to get more resources. We'll have to find out. But I could definitely see that as much uh, a as a possibility. All right, so now we're generating a ton of power in the upper right corner. We have storage to 21,000, and we're generating plus 34. So yeah, that reminds me of... Um, that definitely reminds me a lot of Supreme Commander. Oh, there's more Carbonium here. Make another mine. So they say it's a good idea to build both at the start. So let's do that. Let's build that one right at the edge. Oh. Carbonium factory. Damn. We're building like crazy. Luckily we can take our time with the uh, with the building and whatnot. Oh, I see. It tells you about local power grids too, so we could connect these two together to generate more power or pull it where it's needed. That's interesting. Uh, is there passive income? Uh, well, these resources will probably last for a while, but I'm sure the goal is that our base is probably going to have to get bigger over time. But it's going to be actually really hard to defend at nighttime. You can't see a darn thing. Of course, luckily we have our radar. And, of course, we have freedom. That's an easy way to light up a room. Literally. Okay, so now we got a plus... Uh... 9 Carbonium, but negative 36 on power. So 2 Carbonium reactors are not enough. That's crazy. So we're going to need more. So we need um, more wind turbines. Let's build a couple of those. So how much does this thing produce? Oh, we can upgrade. Cool. Okay. It'll be hard to tell, though, what, like, what each building produces. Is there a maximum? Oh, 50 per second. Okay. So we're producing over 100 power between those two. Yeah, 192. Okay. Out of 180 with consumption. Uh, well, we're about to make some guns, so we should probably find even more power. We're going to need to power a lot of stuff. Any more carbonium? Oh, here's some. Alright, we'll, we'll make this our power generator down here. And we need to connect that to the grid. We also got to defend all this stuff, so like each... We might need to build little outposts and stuff. Yeah, there's a campaign mode. We're going to take a look at that in a minute. Eh, technically, we're in the campaign. This is like um, like story mode, learning a little bit about the lore. So technically, like we're in a VR trainer right now. Carbonium storage is full. Ooh. Build more storage facilities. Carbonium storage. Wait, what's this? Oh, cool. Decorations. We can put down lamps. Oh, it actually takes power to make those. So we can put down standard... Okay, so we can make like a metal floor. And we can put down lighting. That's cool. Uh, we have Carbonium Factory, Factory, Factory. Repairs. I don't see a storage building option at the moment. And we can't build the solar panel at the moment. So we'll just build some more wind turbine. No, energy storage. Carbonium deposit depleted. Oh, wow. 
Okay, we're depleting deposits quickly. Yo, Judo, thanks for the 11 months as a hatchling. Hope I'm having a great day. I am. I, I, I am enjoying this game already. I like the whole base setup thing going on. Basic wall provides basic protection for the base. Uh, protection for the base can be built in multiple layers. Cheap, reliable, and sturdy. Oh my god, same. Um, this looks like the... Uh, anyone else getting Jurassic Park vibes from this fence? Okay, well, apparently they're coming in from the west. We need to build 30 sections, and it seems like... Um, we can build it in layers, so... Let's build, like, one here. Oh, we should probably build it to protect this facility. Oh, there's a gate we can build, too. Okay. So let's build it here instead. Oh. Oh, cool. There's, like, these little... Uh, rocks and things. Okay. Well, should we build a base around the... Or, uh, a gate around the whole base? Looks like there's platforms that we can build too, so we should we should be able to shoot over those. Okay, so we need um How do I rotate items? Oh, uh middle mouse button. Okay. Scroll wheel. Alright. So let's keep building our fence. So when the when the real game starts, things are going to be a lot more hectic than this. Right now it's just like tutorial prologue mode, so it's all nice and cuddly for now. But pretty soon it'll be no mercy. Okay, I think we're going to need to build an AI hub for more guns. Provides AI cores that are required to manage more buildings with artificial intelligence like Sentinel Towers or the Repair Facility. Okay. Let's build those here then. Oh yeah, sweet. So I can shoot over the top, nice. Okay, we could double up on our layers, but we'll start with one and see how bad the attack is. Okay, we need something called Eronium to build more stuff. Oh, hello. Ooh, that's nasty. Uh oh. Freedom. Oh, damn, I got missile launchers, too. Get wrecked. I don't know where uh, Iridium is, though. We need that for our... Uh... <laughs> nice. Uh, I buy a lot of games you feature on this channel before I buy this. How are you liking it so far? I've played this before in the prologue and a demo. Carbonium and I, storage is full. I really more storage facilities. like the whole base building in the game. I think it does that really well. And it has kind of a Starship Troopers feel to it. So if you like those types of games, or if you like those movies or whatnot, then I think you'll really like this. You know, StarCraft, um, Starship Troopers. Carbonium deposit depleted. Supreme Commander, for example. Yeah, how many did I build? I lost track. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's build another one there. Then we got to connect things to power. Remember to connect all buildings to the power grid. Energy connectors distribute power to all buildings within their operating radius. Yes, sir. I wonder if those creatures can destroy these little, um, 
power hubs that are on the ground. If they can, that means they can cut off our power. These basic defenses should give us a bit of security, but we should try to surround our entire base with walls and defensive towers. I agree, sir. Ashley, I strongly advise you to construct an armory. It will allow us to craft new weapons and upgrades, and also manufacture field repair kits, as well as other usable items. And it will produce more ammunition for your guns. Yes, that is an important building. Maybe those creatures drop some of that ironium. I don't see any on this planet so far, but... Uh, we'll uh, try to build that as soon as the attack's over. Coming in 20 seconds. Alright, red alert, chat. We have an OCD alert uh, alarm thing. We, we should like change it to just a regular alarm. So many times I use that. Prepare to fight. We need a new alarm. We're ready for that, Mr. Riggs. Remember to use repair kits if necessary. Oh, here they come. Uh oh. Oh. Get wrecked. Can't tell how much damage they did to the wall. I'm not detecting any more hostile creatures in the base's vicinity. Well done, Captain Novak. The purpose of this training exercise is to prepare you for intense combat situations. This simulation is based on our long distance scans of Galatea 37. They may or may not be accurate. You will be alone out there. There will be no communication back home until you can stabilize a rift portal back to Earth. You will have to rely only on your skills and your mecha suit. Mr. Riggs is the only companion that I need. We can handle the unknown. Just let us do our job. Okay, we need to get 200 Aronium. So it looks like those creatures do drop it, so that's good. Ooh, there's a bunch of them right over there. Hello, boys. Ashley, we should further secure and expand our base. You can build more defenses, or go out and clear out hostile creatures' nests to prevent further attacks. We didn't have any time to study the creatures that are attacking us. The only thing we can do right now is to fight them or strengthen our defenses. We'll need a steel factory to build more towers. We'll have to find an ore deposit to build one. This oh, looks a nest. like a hive of some sort. Let's look inside to see if it's occupied. I'm pretty sure it's occupied, ma'am. Oh, I get a flamethrower? Hell yeah. Woo! Oh, that's those are big guys. Hi there. Oh wow, I made everything on the planet mad. Yeah, some barbecue. Okay. Well, that's good. Alright, let's beat the hell out of this thing. Oh, this reminded me of Back for Blood already, all that. Are the game sounds too loud, chat, or is everything okay? How's it sound? Whoa! This, nest. this will decrease the strength of their attacks. Let's gather all the research samples and rare resources that were in this nest. We can study them later and use them to craft better equipment. Wow. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you, chat. Dude, we get so many cool weapons. I love it. Okay, so destroying um, nests is super worth it. Now we can build our armory. Why is it, chat, that we can build an armory but not, like, a leggery or something? Or a fingery? Wait, can we build a hungry? That's me. Can How come we can't build a hungry? Hey, what's up, Richard Stacy? Good to see you. Thank you very much for the feedback on the sound. Chat, appreciate that. 
Aronium is on the far right side of the map? Okay. We'll have to check that out if we need more. We're going to build our armory and then visit an ore... Well, it does say to find an ore vein to build an Aronium factory next, so we'll check out to the uh, check to the right side. Is this a demo? Uh, this game, I believe, does have a demo or a prologue. Right now we're in the prologue section, but the full game is out today, and we'll be playing that shortly. So this is kind of like a um, tutorial slash kind of like a little prologue to what's going on. There's some interesting conversations that go here for the lore of the game, and lore is pretty cool, so, you know, we're going to do that first. Uh, jib jibata, it sounds good. Okay, very good. Thank you. Did I not have breakfast before Armory coming to the outside toast? Finished. We can now use it to craft new items. It will also automatically manufacture ammunition for my weapons. Ooh. Okay, so ammunition is limited and transferred to our bot automatically. Find an ore vein to build an Aronium factory. Is it Iron? Iron? Ironium? I'm gonna just call it Ironium because it sounds cooler to say. It makes me think of macaroni. Can we call it macaronium? Hey, macaronium. Base is under attack. Is it? Oh boy! Oh boy! I shouldn't use the. Okay, fire bad. Uh oh, that's gonna spread. Oh, they are attacking the base. Okay, well, we better uh, build the fence the rest of the way. Let's see. Let's build a fence and a wall here. Uh, sir, you're being very rude. Carbonium deposit depleted. Well, there's iron over here. Okay, I'll make a little wall there. When I first started playing this game, I, I did like the vibes that it gave me. Okay, we can't build turrets for a little while. Uh, I like the vibes that it gave me in terms of it being like, um... It, it really reminds me a lot of, like, StarCraft meets... Wait, did I just build on top of the... Oh, that needs iron. Okay. Yeah, it really reminds me of, like, StarCraft and, um... Oh, this gives me good vibes of games that I've enjoyed in the past. Alright, chat's telling me there's an Aronium deposit over here, huh? I wonder, does fire hurt us? Oh no, cool, we can stand in fire. Oh wow, it actually like damages the landscape, that's cool. We get animal biomass and plant biomass too. Is there really a deposit over here? We're going awfully far away. Blue dot on the radar. I think blue dots are carbonium. We've got too much of that. We need a, a, a ronium. Macaronium. <laughs> now where's the cheese deposit? Is this something right here? This kind of looks like... It looks like blood. Okay. I thought it was like a surface deposit. Well, I guess we'll go explore. Oh, oh the flamethrower is so nice. Kills the little ones, like, instantaneously. Eh, we'll look around. I do like, um, the landscape in this game, too. It kind of reminds me of, like, Satisfactory, how the biomes in that game change. Like, one minute we're in the plains, like a, like a jungle plain, and the next we're in, like, a, a canyon. Get wrecked. What is the number five button for? Let's see. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Um. Oh wow. Let's actually see what those those things are. Good good point. Let's see what our special stuff is. Okay, so that's something called a oops a radar a radar pulse skill that reveals the minimap in a large radius around the mecha suit. Oh, it it, it reveals some of the map. I think. Yeah, skill that reveals the mini-map in a large radius around the mecha suit. Okay, that's helpful. It, whoa, we have a nuclear mine? Nuclear version of a landmine that explodes like a miniature nuclear device. Explosion affects wide area and deals huge amounts of damage. Alright, well, let's make sure we don't build that near the base. 
Small mine. Small mine explodes when enemies enter its proximity range. It takes a while to arm and can be destroyed before it does, so avoid placing it when enemies are very close. Oh, so we can set up defenses outside the walls, too. That's cool. So we can go out and build some minefields. Emergency explosion. Skill that emanates a, lar a large destructive shockwave around the mecha suit, dealing an area of damage to enemies caught in its blast. Has a relatively short cooldown period. That's nice. Instant repair. Instantly repair a huge amount of... A large amount of the mecha suit's health points. Okay. Well, that worked. Now we're repaired. And let's try the five function again. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good area to reveal. I think it's only temporary, though. Nice, cool guns. Love the guns, too. They sound good. I like the lighting when they fire off. Uh, they make kind of like a... This looks like a large deposit of ore. Build a steel oh. factory in this area and power it with a carbonium power plant. Chat, you meant the, the blinking blue light. I thought you meant like these little, these little ones. Yeah, good job, chat. Good job. if there's flying enemies in this. Okay, well the cool thing is is we got carbonium nearby, so we could make like an energy storage thing. So we can do a carbonium power plant to power this stuff out here out here. And then we could do like oops, a couple batteries. Then the steel factory. See so yeah, I wonder like does putting this on the edge create the same amount? It must, right? So, like, you should be able to do it, like, on the very edge for optimization. So that way we can build, like, maybe six of these or so? I don't know. You, you guys who are good at games, who are actually good at games, you guys can uh, figure that one out. wonder if we can do storage yet. There's probably more buildings than this, too. It's just... Like, this is just the tutorials. There's got to be more stuff. Okay, so now we've got a steel mine going. But it's not enough. I want more. Oh, what's Morning. this thing? A new group of hostile creatures is coming Ooh. from a nearby nest. Solid material. Okay, I wonder if they'll attack this base. I'm going gonna to build a wall instead. Base is under attack. Oh, boy. Nope, they're over there. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna. I'll come back later. I gotta go. Make sure they don't attack the base. Oh boy. Okay, let's uh, finish our wall construction. Oh, the full game is twenty six ninety nine on Steam. That's a fair price. Yeah. Day one launch. Uh, seems seems about right. Twenty six dollars seems fair. What are we doing for power production? We got plus 58. Each one of these turrets takes up... Uh, how much power? Four. So we can build quite a few more turrets. Yeah, th yeah, this does look like Factorio, yeah. I mean, it feels like it. I mean, you know, it gives me that vibe. It's, It doesn't play like Fact... Well, kind of. I mean, you're building, you know, mining and trying to defend from bugs. So, you know... Hey, Kristen, how you doing? Welcome back to the stream. One of our lovely regulars is back. That's good. Good. Okay, let's build uh, power then. I hope there's an upgrade to, like, extend these power nodes. I 
I could imagine, like, if we're setting up a base before we're going to be attacked, it's going to take a little bit of time to, like, set up, you know, go go to set up the guns, and then set up all the power, and then make sure there's, like, redundant power just in case they break through the base, and, like, make sure that you can supply power to other areas if it gets cut off. And do we have guns in the south? There's, like, a little area here. Let's build some defenses here. Uh-oh. Uh, we are short on... Oh, AI cores. Okay. And I also have to remember to build little platforms for us to stand on and shoot off of. I think I'll just build a... for now. Alright, we'll go cheap on this southern section. We'll build one gun. And, uh, hope they don't notice our weakness. Okay. Let's get you guys connect. Uh-oh. Oh, that's just a... Regular creature. Carbonium deposit depleted. Oh, I forgot to uh, connect it this way. Warning: hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. Yes, we they are. We should go there and clear it out. Uh, build an energy connector. Oh, they want me to build it up there. Okay, wait. Let's finish the uh, steel plan now. So it seems like in this game it's a good. Base is under it's your typical like you're in the middle. Carbonium storage is full. Surrounded on all sides. More storage buildings. So it's a good idea to like build a base in the middle, and then also little outposts on the outside. Oh, what it, whatever was attacking got wrecked. Looks like we might need to build repair facilities too to repair the walls. I don't. I don't think I can repair myself. Repair tool. Tool allows the mecha suit to enter building repair mode. Oh, it can. Okay. But it's a specific mode. Okay, let's build a connector to build a turret. Okay, Mr. Riggs, we've got steel production up and running. Ashley, I would strongly advise you to place a rift portal near this factory. This way, we can quickly get back to this location if it comes under threat. Oh, nice. So we can it teleport also between be locations. To place additional sentinel towers to defend this outpost. Remember to connect the towers to the power grid using energy connectors. Oh crap! <laughs> I keep wanting to hold shift because I want to build multiple guns. I got to remember not to hold shift. Don't hold shift. Oh god! Whoa! Okay, I thought we were dead. I thought we were gonna die. Okay, so these really cool rift teleporters can bring us back and forth. Open the map. Select any of the available rift portals to instantly teleport to that location. Ah, oh, that's Traveling cool. Traveling through rifts is almost instant and doesn't consume any resources. Okay, so we're definitely going to make outposts and have to teleport between multiple locations. That's cool. So if we're out here building and our base gets attacked, boom. We go right back to base. Now, can we go the other way? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, if we go, if we get attacked, we can just teleport now. That's sweet. Very cool. Nice. Okay, what's next? Uh, build four sentinel towers near the carbonium thingy. Okay. Or er iridium factory. And we need another AI core. Build one here. I would imagine that all these maps are probably, um, like, probably procedurally generated. I'm sure there's some rules that they're not all handcrafted or something. So, how many AI cores? Okay, so one AI core can power three, four turrets. Okay. Sentinel towers are ready. They should be able to fend off small groups of attackers. 
Stabbing Joe Scarborough, thanks for the five. Thanks for defending the planet, Raptor. You got it! Now remember, this isn't Earth. This is like an Earth-like planet, but Earth is definitely trying to mine things from 24,000 light years away. Creatures heading towards our new mining outpost. Oh, hell no. They better They're not be not hostile. They're not going to give us a break, are they? Get back, we're not open yet. Sweet, that was badass. Ashley, we've defended the mining base, but I'm sensing another attack heading towards our headquarters. <gasps> we should return there quickly. Okay, the HQ has a permanent rift portal. We can rift jump to its location at any moment. Let's go. I'm gonna build a few solar plants here. Base is under attack. Wait, hold on. Wait, can I teleport anywhere? Oh, I don't have to be at the portal. I can just teleport from wherever to a portal. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, defend the headquarters and then destroy the can cano canoptrix nest to the north. Okay. They're probably gonna attack from the north, so let's get ready. Base is under attack. Uh oh. Nope, never mind. Southwest. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a lot of trouble. Hey man, brother. Oh no, no. Yeah, I pressed I pressed one to heal, but luckily we're good. Destroyed. Yeah, we just respawn. storage is full. It's getting cloudy. It looks like it's going to rain. It gonna rain? Oh, cool. We can pick up our stuff. Nice. Wow, that was one hell of an attack. This rain is harmless to our base, but it decreases solar panel efficiency until it stops. Oh. Wait. So does. I would assume nighttime also decreases the number of. Wow, look at that fence. That is wrecked. So I would assume nighttime also does that? Alright, let's see how repair works. Oh, damn, repairs are like pretty instant. Okay, well, we definitely need to turret down here now. Oh, that was cool. So now we see how that works. Okay, we can build a storage facility too for materials. Solid material storage. Automatically gathers using Rift technology and stores solid materials. It expands the global storage for all solid materials. Okay. Oh, it has to be connected to power though. Don't hold shift. I'm gonna have to call this game the shift breaker because I'm gonna keep hitting that key. Do you guys like mushrooms? Like on your pizza and stuff? Do you guys like mushrooms? Okay, how do I change the weapons here? Oh, so we can customize too. So we can like have a melee hand or we can have dual wield weapon hands. The sword is pretty sweet. I like I like the sword. So left hand is either blaster or sword hand. But I think we can switch at any time. Armor plating and energy armor. Oh yeah, so you can tell we got both guns. So Q and E switch weapons like instantaneously. Oh, that's pretty awesome. 
Okay, uh, what's next? Destroy the nest in the north. Alright. Let's go hunting. Carbonium deposit depleted. The rain oh. is over. Turns out that some things are not as different as back on Earth. Yeah. What's this? This shouldn't be here. It's an error in the simulation's construct. This environment has been created by combining long-distance quantum scans of Galatea 37 and other known planets that share similar properties. Gathering all of this data has taken many years, and we were only able to scan a small fraction of the planet. Oh, wow. It's enough to know that we can survive there. I can't wait to make the jump. Everything is going to be new there and waiting to be studied and explored. And waiting to eat us. Let's not get dramatic, Mr. Riggs. A five meters tall mech suit with miniguns and power blades should be enough to fend off a few hungry creatures. Oh my god. Oh, that's a lot. Oh wow. That was a that's that's a lot. A lot of bugs. There's more than a single species of creatures around this nest. We should be careful. So, so long as we have our armory up, the armory will keep making weapons for us, so we almost have unlimited ammo based on our production. That's cute. But we have good old fashioned melee. Get wrecked, aliens! Nest. Even though there were multiple species of creatures around here, they appeared as if all of them were working together against us. I wonder if that's just a part of the simulation, or if the Galatean creatures are really going to be that smart. That would make studying them much more interesting. And much more dangerous. Dangerous? It looks like we've cleared them out. Let's hope this will give us some time to build up our base. Investigate right appearance. Rise. I oh. detected an unusually large creature roaming the nearby area. Sounds like an interesting research specimen. We should go to its location and see what we can learn. Yeah, we can build anywhere we want. We just have to connect it to power. So, like, if, if we wanted to make, like, a like a wall Warning. here or something... I'm yeah. detecting a huge swarm of enemy creatures heading oh, wow. towards our base. It's showing up on my seismic detectors. It's much bigger than anything we've seen before. We'll be fine. We don't have much time. We have to set up as many defensive towers as we can. Also remember to build up more walls and lay all the mines that we can. Get rich. Okay, that was cool. Alright, so let's go back to base and start setting up mines. So, mines with number three. So we just hit three and it just goes? Okay. Oh, they're all coming from the south, uh, east section, okay. No chat, that wasn't an alien bear, stop. <laughs> no bears here. Okay, then we can build nuke mines, so let's build like a couple... ...randomly, I guess. Oh, we're also making mines from the armory, too. Oh, wow. Okay, I don't know what that did. Oh, it must give us, like, a blast radius around us, like a, an emergency escape. Okay, let's cover a 
little bit more in the south. I can sense the hostile swarm moving closer towards our base. This attack is going to be much bigger than anything that we've seen before. We still have some time, Mr. Riggs. We can set up multiple layers of walls around our base and place as many defensive towers as we can. You can also use your drill to excavate additional resources if our factories are producing them too slow. Captain Novak, you're not the only candidate for the mission to Galatea 37. You'd better up those combat statistics if you want to qualify for that jump. We're investing too many resources into this mission just to send a scientist that's going to be eaten by a pack of angry animals. Show us that you can survive out there. Yes, sir. You got it, brother. Okay, let's double Weather up on the wall. Conditions walls. are changing. Wind speed is increasing. Okay, how are we doing on power production? Oh, we're at negative 48. Probably because it's nighttime. Uh, Wind let's speed see. is at an exceptional high. Wind turbine efficiency is at maximum. Oh, nice. Okay, we'll build wind turbines then. Okay, we're in Dutch mode now. Power production's at plus a thousand, nice. Okay, then AI cores are almost done. They take a lot of power, so... And I think shooting the guns might take power, too? I don't know. Returning back to typical values. No. Wind turbine efficiency returning to normal. Warning! The alien swarm is approaching. Shields enabled. Maximizing power output. Oh this is it, Mr. Riggs. Ready your guns. Let's show them what we can do. Uh oh. Holy. Oh, oh god. Wait, was my turn? Oh my god. Get off my lawn! All right, we're going back inside. Okay, more AI cores. Ashley, we've defeated the first attack wave. Quickly, repair whatever you can. There well, that, should be more of them coming. Oh, that, that was the first wave. This attack was a lot stronger. I don't know if we can hold out much longer. Wild animals don't behave like that. They shouldn't act like a sentient army. You will be going to an alien planet full of unknown life forms. Do not assume that you know what kind of dangers might be lurking there. Your primary objective is to survive. If something is trying to kill you, it doesn't matter if it's sentient or not. Adapt or die. Warning. More enemies are heading towards our base. Things are escalating quickly. 
We have to gear up before the second wave hits our walls. Let's show them who they're dealing with. Not enough resources. Oh boy. Oh, now we're at negative 32, 40 power. Oh god. Oh, that's not that's not bad. Let's get some uh, solar panels going. Pinto bless. Hopefully we can uh, get this going. Can turrets be upgraded? Yeah, it looks like a lot of things in this game can. I don't, I don't know if we can upgrade at the moment. Let's take a look. Uh, nope, they cannot at the moment. But I'm sure in the in the main game they can. You want me to find the brain bug? I don't know if he's around here. Yeah, we're tripling up defenses now. We're doing a triple wall. They don't seem to attack gates, so that's good. Oh. We probably need carbonium to repair, so let's we'll just build another layer first. Uh, research. There is research in the game, but we don't have a research center. We're kind of just in the initial prologue area, you know, like the first couple missions. So not everything's unlocked just yet, but yeah, there is research. Warning! More enemies are heading towards our base. Threat level maximum. I'm Ma disabling maximum. all secondary systems and diverting all power to your guns. It's either us or them. Holy crap. You don't say. A tower has been destroyed. Not enough AI cores. Build more AI hubs. Iron deposit depleted. Tower destroyed. An energy connector has been destroyed. Uh -oh. Our towers are low on ammo. Build more ammunition factories. Oh wow, we can't even make enough ammo. A tower has been destroyed. Wall destroyed. Oh god. Base is under attack. We're pulling you out, Captain Novak. You weren't meant to survive this final attack wave. It should serve as a reminder that you should never underestimate the threat that you may be dealing with, even if you think you are in control. Your performance during this training session was satisfactory. You can start preparing for your trip to Galatea 37. Congratulations, Novak. Uh, what? There's a lot of growling. What'd you say? I don't know what he said. <laughs> Dude, that was cool. That was just the prologue. Alright, so that, that was just a simulation chat. That didn't count. Consider upgrading buildings instead of building new ones. Oh, boy. Okay. My goodness, that's... Wow. Wow. All right. Well, we should probably begin the actual real for real game for real. All right. Let's give the uh, campaign a try now. Uh, let's see. Campaign name. Raptoria. Uh, easy, normal, hard, brutal. Fair challenge to players that are new to Rift Breaker but have some experience. Yeah, that's me. Hardcore mode removes the ability to respawn. When, mis when Mr. Riggs is destroyed, it's game over. Oh, wow. Imagine being good enough to play this on Brutal Hardcore. Oh, boy. All right, let's start our game. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. That's, that's for sure. 
All right, now we're starting for real. Oh, this is the same cutscene we just saw. Oh, good, we can skip it. Amen, brother, brother, amen. Yo, chat, thanks for smashing the like button and welcome to all the new subscribers. We are probably about a thousand subscribers away from a million now, so if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, right now is the time to smack that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. And again, remember today's live stream is uh, sponsored by the developers and whatnot, so make sure you click the uh, links in the description if you'd like to check Rich out this game. Successful. All systems check. And there's more information for you there. 1.05G. Atmospheric pressure within safe levels. Magnetic field check. Error. Repeat magnetic field check with stationary equipment. Star system positioning check. Milky Way Galaxy. Sycorax Belt. Planet Galatea 37. Ashley. We have arrived. Ooh. Welcome to Galatea 37, Mr. Riggs. It's so beautiful here. Acidic Virtual swamp. simulations on Earth were good, but this is amazing. An alien tropical paradise. And we're the first humans to experience it. I'm not exactly human. Geothermal? You have a few parts missing as well. And the paradise part is also left to be determined. Remember your training, Ashley. We should set up a base as soon as possible. You could at least pretend to be human. Just a bit. But you're right. There's no going home until we can construct a functioning rift station. Let's start with the basics. Ashley, construct a headquarters building to secure our presence here. It will allow me to reconstruct if my armor is destroyed. Okay, we'll build the HQ headquarters there. construction is in progress. This is going to be our main base of operations on Galatea 37, our new home. We have to protect this building at all costs. You will be teleported here whenever I am critically damaged. There is no other backup if this building is destroyed. That's basic training, Mr. Riggs. Let's focus on the less obvious things. I am required to remind you of basic protocol, even if we've done this before. Our base will require huge amounts of power to operate. Right now, we can only construct some basic power plants. Wind turbines, and carbonium power plants. Wind turbines are less effective, but they work around the clock. Carbonium power plants are very effective, but they use up the deposits that they are placed on. In the beginning, it's best to use a combination of these power sources. We can balance energy peaks and shortages by storing excess energy in energy storages. Also, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid using energy connectors. They connect all buildings within their area of operation, even if power lines are not visible. Man, it takes a long time to make power storage. Okay, let's go with windmills too. So this will be our power center, I suppose. Actually, I'm sure that our presence will not go unnoticed. We should build up our base as quickly as possible. You got it, sir. Standard protocol advises to set up walls and sentinel towers around the base. However, I don't expect as much aggression from the native fauna as in the simulations. So far, it looks like the long-range quantum scans were very accurate. The local fauna and flora appear almost exactly like during training. Follow the protocol, Ashley. The environment in the simulation was very accurate. That's true but the scenario was crafted by Riftbreaker Command. They usually focus on the brute force aspect of these missions. Do you want to run a brute force check if this is a simulation? You never give up, do you? Do you? Okay, Mr. Stubborn. I guess it won't hurt to set up some solid defenses, just in case. Thank hey, you, hey, hey. Captain Novak. You're welcome, Mr. Riggs. Oh, the aliens are already here. Already attacking my base. Darn aliens.
Ooh, okay, that was cool. Alright, we're off to a good start, chat. Can we cut down these trees? Oh yeah, hey man, brother. Alright, let's get all this crap out of the way. Okay, they want me to build six towers. Let's build some walls first, though. Looks like we have a shortage of power. Windmills work around the clock. Yeah, that's a resource that we can mine. Some sort of a weird goo. Is that is that Vespian gas, perhaps? Could it be, chat? There's more carbonium down here. Okay, we can make like a little power station down there, too. Well, let's make a giant wall here, then. I need to build in the cliffs. It's much easier to do. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Okay, let's do a power plant down here. Depleted. Aliens, calm down. Base is under attack. Ashley, I strongly advise you to construct an armory. It will allow us to craft new weapons and upgrades, and also manufacture field repair kits, as well as other usable items. And it will produce more ammunition for your guns. Yes, that is an important building. There is a breach in our walls. Okay, we got that. Ooh. Aliens making me nervous game looks satisfying? It certainly is, man. It certainly is. I like the day-night cycle, too. It, it makes it look really cool. It reminds me a lot of, like, um, uh, Dyson Sphere program, for whatever reason. That game is cool, too. Okay, let's do... Uh, so we need a armory, but we're gonna need iron for that. We gotta go find an iron deposit. And we need six turrets, which by default means we need iron. You're downloading now? Oh, that's cool. Well, I hope you enjoy, man. Yeah, it's available today. If you guys are interested, check the link in the description. What is that? That is pretty. The planet is gorgeous at nighttime. Hey, boys. Ooh. That was a big explosion. Now, they said this is similar to the simulation, so... That means there's got to be, like, iron up here. Nice, got him with a mine. Okay, I don't know if there's actually iron up there. I'm gonna check the other side. You think you saw iron to the east? Oh, really? Okay. I was looking for it at the top because they said it was like the simulation. Uh, oh yeah, there's a little bit there. Okay. Oh, that's not great, but it'll do, I guess. 
I was not expecting to see that. Building it in the middle allows us to collect all, but building it in the, uh... Building it little by little allows us to collect it faster. I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. It looks like our presence has been noticed. Ashley! We don't have a lot of defensive structures. No, we do not. to fight. I guess you were right about setting up more defenses. We'll have to handle this ourselves. Remember to use repair kits if necessary. All right, they're coming in from the lower left side. Uh, yeah, we don't have the minimap scan anymore. Some of the uh, abilities that we had in the tutorial are not... We don't get those at the moment. Okay, so a big attack is coming in from here. I'll try to build a wall here. Uh, we'll get that geothermal vent later. Our storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Base is under attack. Ashley, that was it. Are you still skeptical about the local creature's level of aggression? I'm skeptical about the procedures for prepping this planet for colonization. Humanity lost its love for nature after the Yellowstone eruption, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try to preserve this ecosystem. Earth is barely habitable at this point. We have to secure Galatea 37 for colonization and resource extraction as soon as possible. Excessive care about the local environment is unnecessary. That's not entirely true. Other rift-breaking missions have already secured a number of resource-rich planets for humanity. We're not on the brink of extinction. Our goals on this mission are clear, and our survival and security is the top priority. So wires can go through caves or whatever. Damage to the is inevitable. You wanted to come here yourself, and you knew what has to be done. Are you doubting the mission? I know what has to be done. That's not the point. Galatea has to be prepared for colonization. I don't doubt that. If I didn't come here myself, then someone else would have. I believe that we can do this in a better way. We have to defend ourselves and secure the necessary resources to set up the rift station. But we don't have to destroy all the wildlife we encounter. Humanity doesn't oh, need another stripped down factory world. If we want to progress as a species, then we should study this planet and learn how to blend with the environment and prepare a safe home for humanity. I don't have enough AI cores to support any more defensive towers. You will need to construct additional AI hubs to expand our defenses. Remember to build more power plants before you do that. AI hubs consume a lot of energy. It looks like we have the base up and running. If you'd like to construct more advanced buildings, you'll have to upgrade the headquarters building. Unfortunately, this process also emits a lot of high frequency energy waves. Oh. These creatures are clearly drawn to our energy emissions, so it will be like an alarm bell for them. We should strengthen our defenses before upgrading the HQ. Interesting. So every time we upgrade, we're going to have to deal with a horde. That's interesting. The rain is over. Turns out that some things are not as different as back on Earth. That's cool. You must construct additional pylons. Okay, we need more carbonium. Is 
It's cool, like, we can, we can make lights and stuff for our base and even, like, um... Like... Standard floors, but, like, we don't need to. Got the mouse button to change size. Oh, I see. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. So we can we can do that for looks if we want to, but that's cute. Okay, um, we can even do a nice little light. Isn't that cute? Is there more iron over there? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, we can build a multi-layer defense. We'll start small, though. Okay, we should probably build power storage here. This is at a negative four. That gives us a positive. Okay. Is there like a default number or is it changed for power? Oh, okay, so it's 12. So wind turbines produce 12 and it could be more based on the wind. And then solar panels are 20. Oh. Okay, so solar panels are really good, but you only get so much per day. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, a biomass power plant. Produce energy out of plant biomass from destroyed foliage. So if I cut down trees and stuff... Oh, that seems like really good at the beginning, because you're going to be cutting down trees and stuff to build your base. Let's see how that works. Let's hope I don't have to like put it in there automatically. Alright, build an armory and upgrade the base. Well, let's do the armory first. That's under main buildings, armory. There we go. Amory, brother, brother, Amory. What's up, Taiki? How you doing? Welcome, dude. Imagine playing this multiplayer mode with other players. That would be nice. Yeah, that would be cool. Multiplayer would be awesome in this game. Yeah, that way, like, one person could be... Working on power, another person could be working on mining and defenses. Somebody could be on standby just to shoot all the creatures. It might be a little easy that way, though, because, you know, like, multiple people in multiple places means you, you know, can get a lot more done. But then also, that's kind of what the rifts are for, is that you can, like, teleport to different sections. Another cool thing, too, is if you build your base big enough, you can probably make a rift in, like, the northeast, south, and west, and then just teleport there whenever you needed to do something. Okay, I want more power storage at the base. If we ever run a deficit, I can imagine that being a problem. Okay, that's cool. Now we're making plus 20 power. That's cool. Uh, maybe some raw material storage. Armory construction finished. We can now use it to craft new items. It will also automatically manufacture ammunition for my weapons. Nice. Wow, with all that... With all that mining we're doing, we're still not producing enough materials? My goodness. Oh yeah, we are. Okay. We don't really have any defenses in the south, so let's do that now. So if we upgrade the base, we're gonna have to be... We're gonna be attacked, so we're gonna have to be ready for an attack. And now it's defense time. Damn things sound like chicken. Also, it looks like the power nodes can sometimes go through these canyons. 
so like you can build it under the rocks. That's kind of helpful. Okay. Um, definitely need defense here. Carbonium deposit depleted. Now we're bringing in more carbonium. <clears throat> so we can sell the buildings that aren't making it anymore. Okay, so we got four trail. God, that damn goo. I hope those guys can't go through that goo. They might be able to attack us there. Let's get all these trees out of the way. Producing enough power again. All right, so we definitely should use solar power during the day. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, best games, best hair, best dad jokes, best community, best giveaways. Only upsides to subscribe with one million. Yeah, man, thank you very much for being here. You'd be able to gate just in case. Do you mean a rift gate or like a like a wall gate? We, we definitely should build both. Yeah, I'm going to work on the power situation first, so we can power our AI cores, otherwise we don't get any guns. It seems like nighttime only lasts a short time, though. Carbonium deposit depleted. Okay, the uh, defense on this base is weird. Wind is slowing down. The air is getting dense. A fog is forming up. Ooh. Does that affect visibility? Yeah, we can build walls this first, fog is very dense. and then build a gate. It's affecting the efficiency of our solar panels and oh. wind turbines. Based on my calculations, it shouldn't last for long. That's that's tough. So a fog will cut all power production. That's crazy. So solar and wind are affected with the fog. So biomass power or uh, carbonium. Those are the only power plants that'll work. Okay. We need more AI cores. Okay, let's put down some guns. Fog is clearing up. Did anybody else have like college flashbacks a minute ago being on a college campus? All that fog. I like on the mini map how it shows you if things are powered or not. That's very helpful. Okay, we're gathering up a bunch of stuff for the armory. Uh, what else can we build? Okay, maybe we should do some more iron. We're gonna have to upgrade the base soon, too. Maybe, maybe more defenses. Yeah, maybe more defenses. Well, that means more AI cores. Got enough plant biomass. Let's get more biomass. Wow, power is now negative 60. Holy crap. Okay, we need more sources of power. Oh, now it's plus 48. 
Wait, something's not connected. Oh, these. Oh, this grid wasn't connected? Okay, that should help that problem. And now we're negative 12. Definitely more solar. Gotta charge those batteries. And we got a lot more guns to worry about. Okay. Any research to be done? I don't think we can do any at the moment. Let's see. Uh, build a communication hub to enable research. Um, uh, headquarters needs to be upgraded to level 2 first. So we will get that done as soon as we get our power situation under control. And I want to go over here and see if we can get some more iron, too. Um, are there Mexicans or different paint jobs? Yep. Apparently we can change that on the fly anytime we want. Well, there, well, there was one. In the tutorial it gave us two, but I, I guess we could research more. Maybe the skins Steel will give us full. different bonuses. Facilities. Maybe it'll give us different bonuses for that. Yeah, I think we're going to mine here and here. So we'll just expand our base a little bit. I like how the power can go through the gates and stuff. They're really nice with how the power... Th those those power cables can be destroyed, though, so it's a good idea to, like, keep them away from the walls if you can. Uh, thanks for taking the time to answer. You got it, dude. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for everyone being here. Hope you all enjoying the stream. And I hope you all uh, check the description, by the way, for... A link to this game and the developers are doing a giveaway for a graphics card too and we may get an extra graphic card to give away too from AMD so if you want to uh, get access to our giveaway all of you who tuned in and made this channel your priority to watch today are now eligible for more giveaways and such so make sure you uh, check the discord with the links down below and we'll get you some more information as soon as we can and uh, yeah so I guess all you gotta do is just join the discord that's pretty cool and what is this? This is called the Rift Breaker. And uh, you can read a little bit more about it in the uh, in the description with the link to the Steam store page if you like. It's out today, so if you want to get it, uh, it is uh, available now. Oh man, this thing needs more biomass? Jeez. Alright, are we good to defend? Let's, let's check the base before we upgrade the HQ. We've got no defenses here. They could come from anywhere. The attack might not be that big, but what might happen is they could come from somewhere we haven't... De ooh, ooh, there's a gap there. Somewhere we haven't defended yet. I should build a link between these two. There we go. All those have turrets. Nice. Can you unlock more things to build? Yes, we can. We need to build... Um, essentially, the more things we build, the more we'll unlock. So we got to build like a research center and... But well, we got to upgrade our HQ. But once we upgrade our HQ, we're going to be attacked. There's going to be a, a big enemy wave that comes in. So we're preparing defenses for an attack. There's going to be a bunch of Poglad emotes attacking our base. And we don't want those Poglads getting in. So it looks like they can't attack the wire. They can only attack these nodes. These little things 
popping up from the underground. Yeah, so batteries are definitely needed to survive the night. Your YouTube name is Raptor? Uh, I hope so. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna check the walls, make sure everything's good. Okay, we need, we need more power. There's probably other power sources. There's probably like nuclear and stuff because there is uranium in the game. Okay, I think we're pretty good. For an attack. What if there's a YouTuber called T-Rex? Well, that's cool. We're on the same team then. extra guns to cover the corners. Okay, I think we're okay. Let's check up top, make sure we're good. We just need to work on the power situation now. Which means more storage for power. So we can make it through the nights. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. We got a lot of storage. Can I build another armory? Oh, you can only build one armory, okay. Warning! Hostile creatures are closing in on our base. Prepare for an attack. Well. Let's upgrade the base too then. Headquarters upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We should reinforce our defenses as much as we can. Things are going to get very hot very soon. There's a gap in our defense too, and there's like a there's like a swamp in the way. I don't I don't know if those creatures can get through there or not. I'll build a fence there though and see if they can actually get through there. Oh, there is a vent there, so we're eventually going to need to eventually need to uh, secure that. I am glad we are back on the same page about properly securing our base. We can't save this world if we let it kill us, hey, Mr. Grumpy. Why do you insist on calling me names? <laughs> I hope you're not offended. Are you? No, that would be inefficient. Come on, Riggs. Let's not be so serious. I had to give you a better name than what they called you. Rift Jump and Exploration Mega Suit Mark IV Griffin Variant. What is wrong with that name? It's inefficient. Oh, got him. Wow, she got him. Target destroyed, boys. Wow. Uh, why don't we have tanks? Uh, oh, those plants damage us. Interesting. Um, yeah, we uh, we only have turrets and we have our mech suit, so... It would be kind of cool if we could build units, though, and com com um, maybe control them like... Uh, like an RTS. This kind of feels like an RTS a little bit. Okay, we have a severe deficiency with power. I can sense the ground shaking. Oh. I estimate a few thousand creatures running at our base. Thousand? Oh, they're they are very close. Oh, I see Prepare where they're coming from. Ashley. We've made all the preparations that we could. Let's go out and meet them. Base is under attack. Oh 
Oh god. One of our walls has been destroyed. Oh god, okay. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. We should Ooh. start downloading new blueprints so we can construct more advanced buildings and items. Build a communications hub as soon as possible. Okay, communications okay, hub. Okay, let's remember to build some additional power plants for it. It consumes a lot of energy. Okay, so the... Communication sub allows for communication with Earth via quantum entanglement. Downloads schematic buildings and upgrades enables research. Transmission is instant regardless of distance, but has very low bandwidth. Okay. Carbonium deposit depleted. Communication sub construction in progress. We can download all the technology blueprints that we need through this building's quantum entanglement template matrix. It's a pity that we can't upload anything back to Earth. There's so much data to be gathered here. I can't wait to start collecting research specimens. We will be able to share all of our research data as soon as the rift station is operational and the rift back to Earth has been opened. Let's focus on that first. Oh, okay. So, so we've got to build a rift, basically. That's the end game. Is to, like, start colonizing by getting people through a teleporter. Oh, right, that's cool. Do I like dinos? I certainly do. I like. I also like uh, diners, dive-ins, and drives. Bum, bum, bum. It's getting cloudy. It looks like it's going to rain. Ooh. Well, that's gonna suck for power production, but luckily we have plenty of storage. Okay, so now we're building our communication center. Then we should it's be able raining. to... It will decrease the output from solar panels until it stops. We should be able to uh, research upgrades. It actually seems like it's a good idea to build your base and then cut down all these plants so you can continuously create power through the, uh, the biofuel burner. Essentially, uh, we're, we're paving paradise and putting it up a parking lot. It's, it's what we're doing. Also, hopefully we can take advantage of that geothermal plant. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Uh, those might take power. Do they take power? Nope, they just take 100 carbonium. We might be able carbonium to upgrade, though. storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Let's see if we can upgrade research. The communications hub construction finished. We can now use it to download new technologies. Okay, let's see what we can research. Holy crap, look at that research tree. Holy crap, and that's just one of them. That's building research. Wow, that's weapons research. And that's research on the aliens. Might actually help us to like do more damage to them. Wow. Uh, biomass energy level one. Uh, auxiliary buildings radar contains blueprints for more supportive role the rift breaker base such as radar buildings. What does that radar do? Provides radar coverage and enables defensive towers to shoot beyond their viewing range. Detects hostile entities and shows them on the map. Great for spotting incoming attacks. Ooh. So building that maybe near the towers will make them more shoot further and more accurate, maybe? Repair facility. Repairs damaged buildings in a radius around the facility using automated drones. Yeah, the problem with that is that, oh, it takes cobalt. We haven't discovered that yet. Ammo storage and tower ammo factory. Oh, we can make more uh, ammo that way. With the turrets. Okay, that might be a good one. Sentinel Tower Level 2. That requires Cobalt to upgrade. Headquarters Level 3. That'll take a lot more Eronium. 
Oh, cobalt handling. We can build a detector that then allows us to mine cobalt. This technology adapts the Riftbreaker storage and handling algorithms, making it a collection and use of cobalt possible. It also contains blueprints for Universal Geoscanner that is used for seeking out underground anomalies such as cobalt deposits. Okay, so we don't know where cobalt is until we build the detector, so it could pop up anywhere randomly. That's cool. There's our geothermal power plant. We can research that after the... Oh, maybe we can't build it until level 3. Maybe. Alright, Cobalt seems like one of the best bets. But I think we can only research stuff in green for now. No, that's already completed research. Uh, let's see. Uh, orbital Scanner. That also requires Cobalt. So a lot of this stuff requires Cobalt, so we should probably do that first. So let's queue up Cobalt Handling. Then let's do... Uh, the tower up, tower ammunition upgrades, and then the sentinel tower. But we can change it. All right, that's cool. That's a big tree, a tech tree. That's only just the buildings. I keep cutting down biomass so we can keep making power. We're not getting anything from solar right now. Uh, do the creatures ignore the walls, or do they attack everything eventually? Yeah, they'll attack. It seems like they'll attack randomly, but then there's also... Uh, events where they'll attack all at once. Like upgrading our base, or... Maybe there's some scripts in the story. The rain is over. Oh, look at all that biomass. Ashley, now that the basic base setup is complete, we should start working on our primary objective, constructing an interplanetary rift station. It is going to take a long time to build, so we should start working on it as soon as possible. That's true. It's a massive building with multiple components and pipeline connections for plasma fuel and coolant. Ooh. It's going to be the central structure in our base, with multiple support buildings, so we should plan a lot of free space around it. Let's start by placing the foundation. Oh, so we gotta build like a mega structure and defend it the whole time that it's constructing. That's badass. Then we have to fuel it and keep it running? So that means we're probably gonna constantly be attacked. That's... That's actually really cool. So we have to not only defend our HQ, like our headquarters in the base, but also this mega building, too. Place the foundation for the Rift Station. Plan a lot of free space around it. Okay. So that's under here. Rift Station. This is the big rift that can connect planets in different parts of the galaxy. It can open a rift back to Earth. Okay. And they said free space around it, so... Hmm... Well, this might be good here. We'll just have to build more defenses here. Construction of the Rift Station's foundation is in progress. Congratulations, So Ashley. coolant is this there. This milestone marks the beginning of the next chapter of our mission on this planet. So fuel and coolant. You sound a bit like Colonel Nordstrom. Okay. Do you know that? I received additional instructions on how to motivate you and keep your spirit high during this mission. They were indeed written by Colonel Nordstrom and revised by Admiral Von Blofeld. Would you like me to read what I was instructed to tell you for this occasion? Oh, please do, Mr. Riggs. This is exactly what I wanted to hear after traveling halfway through the galaxy. Captain Novak. You were selected for the rift jump to Galatea 37 as an exceptional individual. You are amongst the elite of the elite of Earth's expeditionary forces. During your services with the extraterrestrial science corps, you have time and again shown courage, bravery, and an unflinching willingness to sacrifice yourself to complete your objectives. You are destined. 
Okay, that's a nice speech. It sounds very uplifting. But they didn't read my bio very well. What do you mean? The sacrifice part. Do you mean the Orion mission? You were working without me back then. Yes, that and a few other things. Do you want me to read further motivational pieces? Do you want to know more? That's enough of Colonel Nordstrom. Let's skip the military pathos and stick to your original programming. We've got a planet to explore. Roger that, Ashley. I am archiving all of the motivational speeches. Okay, so it seems like a very good idea to build our base bigger. Or at least from the start. That stuff's going to take a lot of power. Seems like we might be stuck with level 1 stuff too. Deposit depleted. So that's interesting. Oh, I placed the foundation for the rift station, plant a lot of free space around it. Oh, it's still building, okay. Right, well, let's scan for cobalt. Oh, it actually points to where it is. Oh, we actually have to go, like, prospecting. Is there anything closer? Not really. Let me see if there's anything close to here. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. It's actually cool, we have to go out and find it. That's really neat. The construction of the Rift Station Foundation has been completed. We need to construct all of the Rift Station components before we can start powering up the portal. The Rift Station has three main components that require a lot of rare resources to be built. The fusion field accelerator requires enriched uranium. The hyperparticle condenser requires palladium. And the quantum gate stabilizer, which requires titanium. We haven't found any traces of these elements near our base. These resources might not be present anywhere near our location. We should construct an orbital scanner to start scouting for interesting locations around the entire planet. It will allow us to establish precise coordinates for long-range rift jumps around the planet. Oh. We don't have the required schematics to build an orbital scanner. We have to download the orbital scanning technology through the communications hub. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Right now we gotta build a cobalt mine. And it sounds like we're gonna be teleporting to other parts of the planet to bring stuff back here to our main base. Can I build that there? No. Wait, how do I mine that stuff? Research completed. Technology adapts to Rift Breaker storage and handling algorithms making collection and use of cobalt possible. It also contains blueprints for Universal Geoscanner that's used for seeking out underground anomalies, such as deposits. Yeah, the turret's ready. Okay, we need that other thing, the orbital scanner. There it is. And then I guess we'll research the radar. Sounds good. Okay, let's see if we can mine it. Oh, okay. So we don't have to set up a mining facility. We just have to drill it out like we did with the cobalt. Oh, and there's more. Uh... So we have to go find cobalt ourselves. Hi, guys. Of course, it's exactly where all the enemies are. Of course. Ashley, now that the armory is operational. 
operational, we can craft some new weapons. That's a good idea. The enemy attacks are getting constantly stronger. We need better guns. Amen, sister. <laughs> oh, it's carbonium. Wait, is there a way I can check and see what I have for, like, materials? Carbonium high, ironium high, geothermal vents medium sludge low. I don't know what sludge is yet. Uh, oh, here we go. So under the crafting tab, we can look at what we've got. We've got 43 cobalts. So we must be able to find this other stuff, too. Kind of the same way. Ah, so crafting is what allows us to... build weapons for our mech through here. That's cool. And it looks like we can find more deposits for things, so that's cool. I'm detecting a decrease in wind speed. This may affect our wind turbines. Is there a way I can set this scanner to look for specific items? The wind is very slow today. Wind turbine efficiency is not going to be that great. More iron, nice. I don't think I can go down there. Okay, mine time. Here come the pog lads. Get wrecked. Hey, ones in chat, by the way, if you guys are subscribed to the channel, did you know we're about to hit a million subscribers? Is anybody here not subbed? One, ones in chat if you just subscribed or if you're a subscribe. Just, just curious, that's all. No chat, there's not bears on this planet. Stop asking. Do you think there's a material on the planet, though, called, like, baronium or something? Good. is full. Build more storage facilities. You've been subscribed for two years? Wow. Well, thank you for the support. Dumb aliens. I must have to get down there somehow. Wind speed projection is returning back to statistically normal values. Wind turbines are back at nominal power levels. Nice choke point there. Would you guys calm down? I'm trying to find stuff. Jeez. Nosy aliens. Gotta be on the other side.
base is under attack. Geothermal vent, so it's all random. So there could be anything anywhere. Get wrecked! Oh, get wrecked. Okay, so this thing can find anything. So it could be cobalt, it could be iron, it could be a cure for the Mondays. No, not there. Geothermal vent. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Mind combo is deadly. <laughs> Yay! It's gotta be cobble. Oh no, it's more carbonium. Yep, this game's out today on PC. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. We should also place mines around the base while we're out here. we researching oh what's the uh, next things download the orbital scanning technology select the armory to enter the crafting menu well we can do it this way but I guess they want us to do it the other way okay so the next thing is orbital scanning eight minutes all right so we're just getting research done now while we explore this is cool man I like it Never, never too early for hot pockets. Yeah, I, I think they have a hot pocket breakfast, don't they? Like with, uh, yeah, it's probably got like a fluffy croissant exterior with like I don't know sausage or something in it with maybe like egg, eggy type, egginess with eggs. <laughs> okay, let's select the armory to enter the crafting menu. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Select the armory to enter the crafting menu. Well, I can just do crafting here, though. Uh, Spartan Blue, thanks for becoming a little raptor. Smashing that join button. Thank you very much for that big O support. Welcome aboard. Thank you. 
I select the armory? I can stab it or shoot it. Or I can upgrade it, but I don't know. Oh, that way. Okay. Select the armory to enter the crafting menu. What do they want me to make? I guess anything? Let's make the shotgun. I don't think we have that. Crafting completed. Amen, brother. Now that you've crafted some new equipment, don't forget to change my loadout and weapon configuration. Okay, so now we can change our loadout. Okay, this is what the orbital thing does then. So the orbital scanner, once we build this, will allow us to teleport to different areas of the planet. So we aren't just building one base, we're building interconnected bases that can then teleport everything back to the main base to build that rift gate. So the area we've started in is high in carbonium and ironium, but like an area near the water could be higher in sludge for other reasons. That's cool. That's really cool. You think it's time to support? Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. That's that's nice of you to say. Thank you for watching. Okay, let's add the shotgun to that list. Now we've got the machine gun blaster and shotgun. Nice. And now we just need to download the orbital scanner technology, which takes... Research completed. It'll take another six minutes. Okay. Uh, so what's next? Maybe more biomass energy? Repair facility? And then finally headquarters level three. Sausage, egg, or bacon hot pockets are great. Yeah, did they call it something different? <gasps> wow. We're pretty close to just a thousand subscribers away from one million. Wow, Poglad. We just need to wait for this thing to be ready. What can we do in the meantime? Uh, we're pretty full on materials, so we let's build some more storage. Looks like it's going to be a while till we can upgrade. Oh, actually, let's build uh, yeah more ammo storage. Build two ammo storage. And then we need to build factories for the towers to ki keep getting ammo. Yeah, likely tomorrow we'll probably start our million sub uh, streams. Uh, we'll see. It all depends on the algorithm. So, Pinto Bless Wall. Warning! Hostile creatures are closing in on our base. Oh. Prepare for an attack. Prepare for battle. And let's build more storage for general materials. Okay, let's do those there. Okay, the attacks are going to come from the south, east, and southwest. Oh boy. Um, oh man, all that new stuff's going to require a lot more power, too. Ah, oh, you can just hold. I didn't even try to click and drag before. Well, that saves this time. Okay, let's check the turrets in the south. I think, actually, we're really, we're really ready in the south, yeah. All right, come at us, nerds. Googly-eyed glasses instead of sunglasses for the million subs. That'd be fun. Well, it's interesting. The sunglasses thing brings up a lot of conversation in the chat, so that's that's cool. At this point, though, like if I if I start taking them off, it's going to be like the same as, the same as if I turn off the webcam. Like it'll be like, where are the glasses? Why is the webcam off? Chat's so always like, if ever, if ever anything's different in the stream, chat thinks something's up. 
one day I'll just have to, uh, I'll have to have Pinto come over and, uh, like, just have him pretend to stream as me until you guys figure it out. Okay, we're placing mines now. more organic material. Danger! An aggressive horde has entered the area. It is less than a minute away. Oh boy. So they can enter from off map too, it doesn't have to just be the nests. Double walls, yep, we can double up the walls. We should construct more storage buildings. I think we can also make um, better walls eventually, but we'll have to see. They're still called Hot Pockets for breakfast? Oh, okay. Oh, there's egg, is full. egg and Build cheese with pancakes. Nice. Base is under attack. Oh, we're already under attack. Well, that was fast. Now let's just sell these. We'll, re we'll rebuild them later. Damn, the shotgun is kick ass. Destroyed. Okay, they're breaking through over here. Well, that wasn't that bad. At least that attack was easy. Okay, yeah, so the iron mines can last for a long time, so those definitely need to be defended. Let's increase storage.
Can you guys hear me at least? I'm getting like 2002 level connections right now. Seems to work now. Well, I'm getting conflicting reports. Wait, it might be it might be coming back. Sorry, Com Comcast, uh, our internet provider, just like had it just completely tanked. Okay, it looks like it's crawling up now. Yeah, for like fi uh, about 15 minutes there, it kind of went down. Um, hold on, we're gonna we're gonna slowly increase the quality over time. We're going to give it a minute or two before we continue with the gameplay. Anyway, this is a good time for you all to smash like if you haven't already. And to uh, remember to turn on the notification bell so that way if these things happen, you guys will be notified when the stream comes back up or something. It takes one second, it's free. And it's a great way to make sure you never miss out on anything on the channel. Looks like we're, we're coming back slow. Okay, I'm going to increase the output again. We're at 2,000 kilobytes. Usually we're at 7, so I'm going to try 5,000 now and see what happens. We're going to bring things back a little, little by little, just to make sure we're all good. Okay, I think we're good. I, I don't know what happened, but again, remember... Uh, let's see. Comcast yearly revenue between the years of 2006 to 2020 is 103 billion dollars. 103 billion. All they have to do is keep the internet on. That's it. Okay, we're going to go back up to our usual streaming thing. Okay, I'm going to increase the quality one more time and then we'll get back to it then. So it seems like things dipped out at about... Uh, yeah, about 15 minutes ago. Yep, okay. So we should be good now. YouTube recommends a bitrate of 4,500. Maybe that's why YouTube's always dipping down to 144p for you guys, because I stream in too high of a quality. Which trips up their system, maybe, into thinking like, oh, the quality's super high, so it must be super low. Let's go back down to 5,000 and see how that is. See if you guys can tell and the difference. For it with the geo All right, one's in chat if everything's close, good. Really. Give me a one in chat. We should craft some All right, we're back on it. Before we try to venture out that far. Sorry, everybody. Thanks for your patience and understanding. Appreciate that, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks for hanging in there. We should be back now. Wow, what's the current goal? Uh, find cobalt using the geo scanner 500. Find source of frequent attacks. Well, it looks like there's a nest in the north. You can go up there. Do you guys notice any difference Carbonium in the storage? full. We should construct more storage buildings. Warning! A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Okay, we're on the lookout for cobalt. We do get 500. Base is under attack. What about walls? 
been destroyed. Oh, it looks like the map's much bigger than I thought it was. Wait, how can we... Wait, can I rift back to where I... Anyway, there's a large yellow circle here. those attacks. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Get wrecked. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. Yeah, but you should just be able to refresh now. Yeah, it's a stone bear, yeah. Definitely something here to discover. Base is under attack. Oh no, the sludge. The weather is calming down. Wind is getting slower. Wind speed is at a low today. Wind turbines are less effective. Oh wow! Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, oh, they did not want me touching that thing. What was that? Oh, they didn't want anything to do with me there. What was that thing? Whoa! Carbonium storage is full. That must have been. Storage facilities. That must have been some. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. That must have been something like super special. They didn't want me Steel drilling that out. Storage is full. Build more storage facilities. That was interesting. Okay, uh, let's build another storage facility. Base is under attack. All 
destroyed. Oh man, they're mad. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. They were mad about that. Wind speed projection is returning back to statistically normal values. If they Wind break through there, are back at nominal power levels. If they break through there, that'll help me to hold the last defense. Okay. Wow, that was crazy. Okay, they do not like me attacking whatever that egg thing was. So now we got to go attack it more. They didn't want me doing the thing I was doing, so we got to go do more of it. The problem is too I was like stun locked. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. So like they completely swarmed me and then I wasn't able to move, so it was like, okay, I need to be able to like you know, they outnumber me, so we gotta keep moving, you know. Wow, we gotta find out what that thing was. Look like a giant egg. Base is under attack. We also gotta see if we can find more cobalt. There we go. <gasps> it's an actual. Ashley, now that you've got practice with using the geo scanner, you can use it to search for hidden resource deposits, geothermal vents, or any other underground anomalies. It looks like it's going to be very useful. We could at least scan the area around our base with it. Who knows what's hiding under our feet? It is also capable of finding hidden underground alien life forms. Then we should definitely check the area around our base with it. We now have enough cobalt to construct the orbital scanner. Also, be mindful of this building's energy consumption. We should probably build some additional power plants and improve our energy storage capacity before connecting it to the power grid. I'm gonna see what that thing was. It looks like a giant egg. Warning! Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. You should go there and clear it out. You've unlocked a, a unique item, dash acid. Base is under attack. Some sort of an upgrade thing? Okay, now we can uh, build the orbital scanner thing. So I like how messy our base looks. It looks cool. Okay, so now let's do... Uh, let's see, a... Orbital scanner. Orbital scanner construction is in progress. But before we start jumping off to different parts of the planet, we should build the necessary local research facilities. The communications hub can only help us with downloading already developed technologies back from Earth. Still, one of the main reasons why we came here is to conduct research and to learn about the environment that we encounter here. The map is huge, by we the way. research new technologies based on samples of alien life forms. Or the map is huge. Completed. Okay, current objectives any new are... any substances that we encounter if we construct the alien research laboratory building. The Alien Research Laboratory is a complex structure and requires multiple schematics in order to be built. Download the necessary technologies using the communications hub. Okay, yeah, let's build these mines again for cobalt or carbonium.
Oh boy. Base is under attack. Okay, looks like the looks like everything's okay. All right, uh, where are we? Let's see. Find the um, source of frequent attacks. Download the liquid resources technology. Oh, dude, sweet. Download the schematics for headquarters. We're getting that one done. And alien research. Okay, so we got to research alien research. Item requires alien research to unlock. Oh, these ones are highlighted, okay. So, headquarters has to be upgraded, then we can research the other remaining ones, okay. All right, so we just gotta wait a little bit. And while we wait, it's probably a good idea to upgrade our defenses, so we can probably, especially this place, the iron mine continuously gets attacked. defenses in the south and west warning an aggressive horde is amassing near our base prepare to defend our base Under attack. Okay, that should allow the base to attack further. Maybe. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, so we're basically just waiting for technology to download. So we're not not even doing research. We're actually just downloading pre-existing tech, which sounds pretty cool. I like how that works. This game looks legit. Yeah, it's really pretty. And... Uh, Speaking of beauty, there's no other beauty than the uh, GPU that we're giving away today as well. So if you want to know more about the GPU giveaway, make sure you check the description where we're giving uh, away an AMD graphics card. Links are down below in the description. Warning! Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. You should go there and clear it out. Okay, they want me to go clear out attacks, but... Uh I think we're okay for now. A hostile swarm is moving in on our base. They are almost upon us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're upon us now. What's up, Daniel? You're here for the one million party? Help them well? I am. I am very well. Thank you very much for the support. Okay, we have a loss of power, but we are we're storing power. Planetary geomapping procedure in progress. Searching for traces of uranium, palladium, and titanium. This process may take some time. Oh. 
We need more guns. Warning. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Alright, we're gonna clear those nests out pretty soon. Well, they only cracked through like the outer layer of a double layer wall. That wasn't that bad at all. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. They hyped that up to be a, like a massive unstoppable attack and it was like... That's a pretty big attack, but... That was a pretty big attack, but it wasn't like the wind is picking up. Insane. A storm is coming. New buildings are available for construction. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. Yeah, let's build more walls. The storm is getting really intense. I hope it doesn't overload our power grid. I wonder if lightning can damage the base. Okay, let's take a look at our research. research completed. Okay, so repair towers are a thing now. That's good. We gotta upgrade... Oh, the next thing we gotta do is upgrade the base to level 3, which means we're gonna be attacked like... We're gonna be attacked like crazy. Okay, let's build two repair facilities there. They always seem to come from that west side. That's nice. We can get all of our defenses ready there. I need more AI cores now. Hey, what's up, Mashur? How you doing, dude? Welcome to the streams. Nice to have you here, man. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. You should go there and clear it out. Yeah, we're constantly being attacked by those... Nasty creatures. Not sure exactly where the nest is, though. I, I see a few things marked, but we've gone there and there's not nests, so... But I, I think... Well, we went to where the yellow highlight was. It could be over there. We'll see. I wonder, does it only affect things in the blue area? Maybe not, because even when we try to put down the a wall. Has calmed down. The storm is over. Do we have a severe power drain? I need to be able to take advantage of that geothermal plant. We got a really nice geothermal plant by the base. I want to make use of it. Well, sun's coming out, so that could help our power problem. Let's build some more storage. Let's sell a building. Warning. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. I think that's the nest there, though. But I'm going to stay at base and prepare for defenses, because once this research is done on upgrading the base, we're going to upgrade it and then be attacked, so we should be ready. They could come from anywhere. You're downloading this game too, Ralph? That's good to hear, man. Yeah, it's it's pretty fun. Like it, It's been nice to see these games that are kind of like... Th this one's kind of more of its own thing, like... Age of Darkness Final Stand was a little more similar to They Are Billions, and this game's definitely got that They Are Billions feel to it too, but it kind of feels a little bit more like StarCraft and Supreme Commander meets like um, a little bit of um, 
Although there's no desert, at least of yet. Uh, Starship Troopers. But we're also like a mech with really big powers, so that's what makes it feel like Supreme Commander, so... It's got a nice mix of a lot of stuff. Is this toxic? Oh, this is just mud that slows us down. Cool. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. Just, we should go there and clear it out. I'm gathering a bunch of biomass for our power generators. Also, a little bit of uh, Satisfactory in this. The, the planet feels like the uh, jungle world of Satisfactory. Yeah, it's a new take on the turret Steel defense genre. Yeah. Is full. That's true. Build more storage facilities. Oh, they don't even stand a chance. They barely even touch the wall. Okay, let's do some more upgrades for our our uh, robot here. Uh, let's see. Oh, so we have to up we have to research weapons first. Standard armor plating. Are we wearing that? Energy sensors. Oh, we don't even have armor plating. Let's research that then. Crafting completed. I don't think anyway. Oh yeah, now we got it. Cool. Alright, now we're now we're more powerful. A new technology has been developed. New buildings oh, are boy. available for construction. New buildings new are available for crafting. New buildings, that's cool. Animal biomass power plant. Oh. The so technology we, queue is empty. We can burn uh, animal carcasses that way. Nice. Take advantage of that. Okay, let's do some research. Research completed. So next it's the liquid resource and aliens. Which can only come after the next research. Okay. Yeah, so every once in a while when we kill those creatures, they give us, like, carcasses and stuff that I guess we can burn for power. Carbonium storage is full. Let's Build make, more storage facilities. Let's make an extra power. Okay, we're at the mercy of research, I guess. In the meantime, let's go find a nest. Warning! Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. You should go there and clear it out. Oh, man. And Shinara's here, too. Hello, Shinara. Welcome. I'm going to try to get everything after me and then go back to the wall. Trajectory ends very close to our location. Prepare um, for bombardment. A meteor swarm? Oh. Warning. The, a new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. The base can be uh, destroyed by meteors. These rocks can do some serious damage. Yep. Evasive maneuvers, Mr. Riggs. Holy crap. 
Now's not the time. I'm busy. This looks like a nest of some sort. We should clear it out and reduce the strength of hostile attacks. There is a lot of them inside. This might be difficult. The rock rain is over. That was intense. Hey, man, brother. We should stop them from gathering in this area and improve our chances of survival. Every bit helps. Weapon drop. What? We can try to recover it later. Oh, I guess shooting those dudes close range makes them explode. Took a little bit of damage. Oh, let's go grab our stuff. Okay, so did the base take any damage from the uh, meteors? No? Looks like it was just in a small area of the planet, not like the whole planet. Okay. Uh, multiple armories, you can't you can't build more than one at the moment, it seems. But you can build armor, multiple armories uh, called... Well, they're called tower ammo facilities that give your turrets more ammo. They, they actually fire physical ammo. But I've also seen some, um, like, laser towers in the game. So there's definitely, like, energy weapons in the game, too. And we can also make flamethrowers as well. Full. Build more storage facilities. But the armory... Uh, the armory actually makes, um... All sorts of ammunition. So, depending on whether we have like a rocket launcher or if we have a uh, if we have a rocket launcher or a flamethrower or whatnot, it'll make all the different types of ammo that we need. Right now, we're just researching, so we're wait we're waiting for some research to be done. And I think, I guess we can upgrade the base to level 3. So let's do an attack while we wait. Headquarters upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses. Okay, attack coming in from the east. Uh, can we increase download speed? I, I, I'm not sure. We can only have one one building to do the research, so it might be on a timer on purpose. Uh, our storage is up above my head, so each different item is is up there. So like our AI cores and a few other things. Yeah, we're going to need some more turrets. Yeah, I think the meteorite strike was like around us. So it doesn't look like the base got damaged at all. So that's good. See how that goes. Ooh. I think downloading the communications hub only speeds up download time by one second. Some of this research, like this is going to take 34 seconds. We'd have to build 34 of those. Ugh, I, I don't know if that's worth that. It seems like it's... Uh, I don't know. How much power does it consume? My sensors are picking up multiple groups of hostile creatures approaching our base. 50? Well, that's quite, okay. that's quite a bit of power. We're ready for them. Uh, we'll look into research in a minute. Oh, that's only one wide. 
A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. One of our walls has been destroyed. Not enough AI cores. Build more AI cores. Uh oh. New technologies are available for development. Hold the line. Base is under attack. Yeah, those walls are pretty good. Threat neutralized. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. The improved headquarters building can support more communication hubs. If ah. we want to download new technologies faster, then we should construct as many of them as possible. Yeah. They take a hell of a lot of power. We're going to need a lot of those then. That that's the that's what the game wants us to do. Empty. So the game wants us to make a Research lot of those completed. communication hubs. A lot of those communication hubs. That's crazy. Liquid resource handling. This technology contains schematics for structures and devices used in handling liquids on an industrial scale. These buildings are universal and easily adapt to any type of liquid. Oh, and now we have to store liquids too. So we can store liquids. That's cool. Liquid. Liquid uh, pumps liquid resources from pools found around the planet. Pumps cannot operate close to each other. Pipeline. Water filtering plant purifies contaminated fluids like mud and produces clean water. Requires energy to operate. Oh, we found a mud pit near us. So we can produce water from sludge, but it takes more... Takes more to, to do it? Okay. Uh, what do we need next? Aliens? Okay, we'll work on defenses later. Alright, so I get Yeah, the green pond we can do water with, but it looks like there's also a mud pond near us. And mud will produce more water, though I'm not sure what we need that for at the moment. But let's do a um, another communication sub. Actually, we have a be we have a massive power deficit. Oh, now it's now it's a surplus because of daytime. Okay, let's build a massive uh, solar farm here. Can we upgrade these yet? Yeah, no. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. I want to build a geothermal plant. When can we do that? Geothermal. Uh, renewable energy geothermal power plant. How much does that make? Plus 200. And apparently it makes mud. Oh, it produces mud too. So that would help us for water. Yeah, it seems like water is for cooling the rift, maybe, yeah. Or at least it's part of an element that's used to cool it. Must be built on top of a geothermal vent. Produces significant amount of energy, plus 200. That's pretty damn good. And it's probably constant. Let's add that to our research queue. 23 minutes. Oh, but that's going to be totally worth it, though. Because we found a few of those geothermal vents. And communication arrays are going to take a lot of power. Oh wait, this is clear now of carbonium. I know it's not. Uh, let's build more research here. 
Oh, we can only build two now. So there is a building limit, but we have to increase the... Uh, we have to upgrade more stuff at the base. Okay. Yeah, so it looks, looks like the green pond is for... Um, I guess it can all be filtered for water. If you don't have storage, do the mine shut off? Uh, yes. It looks like they do. Honestly, we don't even need that much storage for uh, anything other than iron at the moment, but we don't need it any more of it at the moment. It seems okay. Anyway, it's nice to be producing that plus 800. We just need more storage now for power. Uh, wow, that's a lot of storage Air already. Is rising. Oh? It's going to rain in a moment. Oh, okay. It's raining. It will decrease the output from solar panels until it stops. Then we'll build our sludge pump here. So what do we got? Liquid pump, water filtering plant. Okay, so sludge or mud equals water. I guess I'll give it a little bit of space so we can build tubes coming in from... We'll start with one. I don't think we need water at the moment, so... I mean, we will eventually, but... It's not part of anything we're doing at the moment. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so the alien research schematic gives us... Okay, six minutes. Okay, we need more bio. I wonder if there's a way we can do farming where we can, like, grow stuff and then, like... That uh, seems to never grow back, though. This, this game is completely lush, though. Like, there are so many, like, leaves and trees and stuff around, it's crazy. Well, it's definitely a viable tactic to keep gathering, like, biofuel. Rain is over. Turns out that some things are not as different as back on Earth. True. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Well, will I go back and revisit Age of Darkness? Absolutely. Yeah, this... If you like Age of Darkness, this game is very much like... It gives you that same feel. And so this this game is kind of like in this... It feels like a turret... It's like a... It truly is a turret defense game because, like, you build a base to defend, but you're also mining. So, like, if, if you like Satisfactory, you'll like this. Age of Darkness, They Are Billions, Starcraft. Like, it's it's got a lot of good... It, it's got, like, just good vibes, man. It's good, it's good times. And it's like, um... You know, it feels like Dyson Sphere Program too, and a little Factorio, because you gotta like think about your power, and there's a lot of power storage. It feels Cold more like storage is full. combat, but it's not. Storage buildings. Oh, it looks like we can supply these guys with like some sort of a cryo water or just regular water, but I don't, I don't. Well, we'll have to just follow the objectives and see what they want us to do. Okay, so that thing can make water. Uh, wait, do we store that? Okay, here I guess. Actually, let's let's put it over here. Oh no, we're gonna have to build a piping system all the way over here. This is gonna get. Uh oh, this is gonna look gross. 
Looks like water can come in over here. To be fair, the game did warn us to give it plenty of space, but... Like, you don't know till you know. Wait, can we actually walk over this pipe? I hope so. Okay, it just sits on the ground. It's not, like, tall or anything. Can it go over the... Oh, it can go over liquid. Alright, well, we'll do that then. So we can just bridge over the resources. I don't think we'll have to worry about water pressure or anything. Can we build a Dyson Sphere? Well, the objective here is to build a, uh, a rift. Get that all connected. So is this mud or sludge, or do we need both? No, it, co it can only has one intake, so it can only be one. Wait, does it have power? Does that thing need power? Uh, liquid pump. Water, mud, sludge, or magma. Oh, it's facing the wrong way. Wait, that's a thing? I thought it would just automatically correct the direction. Oh, there it goes. Nice, okay. So now sludge is being pumped into the facility and then being turned into water. And the water is going to... Yep, it's turning blue. So it's being stored in this tank. But we're not using any of it, so... Okay, so that's the only thing that needs water. We got plenty of power storage. Okay, so next research is alien research, 57 seconds, then renewable energy. I really like the research thing in this game, too. It's I like how it's... We're not necessarily researching it, we're downloading it. Where's that mud? That's over there. I would build platforms everywhere, but since there's one of me, we may as well just build turrets. Looks like we're going to need more cobalt, too, so let's go find stuff while we wait. Let's go on an adventure, chat. technology has been developed. Okay, we've got all the necessary technologies downloaded. This building requires a supply of clean water to operate. It would be best to place it close to a pool of mud or sludge that we can filter. Warning! I'm detecting intense seismic activity. A strong earthquake is coming. Uh oh. Okay, so now we can build our research lab. It's an earthquake. It's going to seriously damage all buildings near its epicenter. Oh, it's over there. Okay, we'll be all right. Um, I can see this game being a lot in the future where it's going to be like really complicated, but they're really starting out nicely. They're not dumping on everything at the same time. Yeah, there is a cobalt mine, but I don't know if I can Carbonium actually storage build is something for we that yet. construct more storage buildings. Okay, where's the uh, alien research lab there? So we could just build the research lab here. Alien research laboratory construction in progress. And we'll just reroute the water. Fantastic. I can't wait for it to be built. This building is going to open up a whole new range of possibilities for us. If I had a base like that on Orion, I wouldn't have lost my arm back then. Out 
did that happen? I got careless while searching for Anorex crystals. I found a fascinating growth anomaly that was transforming all of its surroundings. I've never seen anything like that, so I had to take a sample. I was shielded inside a recon suit, but when I grabbed the crystal with my hand, it just went through it. My entire arm was infected. Why didn't you use a bioscanner to take the sample? They only work in conjunction with a lab like this. I didn't have a base on Orion or a mech suit to build one. I am sorry to hear that, Ashley. And I am glad that we got paired together. I will not allow something like that to happen to you. Okay, let's not get too emotional about that. If you look at it from a different perspective, I got an enhanced biomechanical arm replacement and I still got the sample. Sweet. Okay, we need this, uh... Well, we're, we're sucking down a thousand power. We need that, uh... Geothermal plant. Let's see. Yeah, I like the pacing because it like sets up a story between the characters, not just like en endless survival. But I'm sure that'll be a mode too if it's not already. Yeah, that'll keep things away from the plant. So this facility is almost done. This thing's going to suck down a lot of power, too. Yeah, I guess eventually we'll need more storage because of the base cost of buildings will be so much that it needs to be in your quote-unquote bank account. So if you don't have the materials, like, you can't build it, even though you build in stages. So if a building costs 30,000 materials, you can't start it without... Uh, You can't start a building without having all the materials. The upfront cost is still there. Boom, 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 boom. Hmm. A new technology has been the alien research laboratory construction finished. We have to supply it with clean water to keep it operational. You can produce clean water by placing a pump in any type of liquid and delivering it to a water filtering plant for processing. Connect the output from the water filtering plant to the alien research laboratory using pipes. Okay, we got that taken care of. Research completed. Oh, we can uh, do more bioscanning now? Okay, we can only have one bioscanner. Oh, geothermal plant's done too, great. All right, so now we can start alien research. Allows the Rift Breaker to build cultivators and harvesting station. These drone operated buildings are used to grow and cultivate saplings of species and local flora. They can be collected for biomass and other resources. That's badass. Exactly what I said. So the alien thing is more buildings. There's more and more and more and more buildings. That's really cool. So we have a cultivator and a harvesting station. So we can we can do farming and then we can harvest that for biomass. That's awesome. What do we have other under basic buildings? Artillery towers. Ooh, flame tower. Hmm. Gas power plant. Requires flammable gas to operate. Oh, wow. Biocomposter gas filtering plant. Maybe we can make... Oh, refined sludge to produce flammable gas, which is used by... F oh, okay. So the sludge is like an oil Finally. pit. Finally! 
the Alien Research Lab is operational. We can start gathering research samples and scanning the local flora and fauna. We can use the bioscanner to begin collecting samples without destroying the environment. That's cool. It's the safest and most efficient way to advance our research. This is so exciting. We can finally start working on the thing that we came here to do. Ashley, don't forget that our primary objective is to establish a two-way portal back to Earth to enable human colonization of Galatea 37. That's true, but we also have to study this planet to ensure that it is safe for colonization and to minimize the damage done to the local ecosystem by future colonists. Minimizing damage to the local ecosystem is listed at the end of the official list of priorities of this mission. I'm the only human on this planet. I can set my own list of priorities. The planetary geomapping procedure is in progress. Calculating coordinates for possible rift jump locations. The process will soon be completed. Okay, the extra Orbital water here. Scanner geomapping procedure finished. We have gathered a lot of very useful information about the planet and found traces of rare elements in multiple locations around the globe. One of Galatea's continents appears to be a barren desert that has been scorched by intense radiation and Ooh. very intense solar activity. These harsh conditions are most probably caused by the high condensation of radioactive elements like uranium or thorium. Our scans have located a safe rift jump location for an initial scouting mission. <gasps> Gaining we can go to another to biome. Uranium would allow us to construct nuclear power plants and some heavy weaponry. Ooh. This should make surviving on Galatea much easier. So if we go to the Desert of Death, we can actually uh, get some uranium. The area is densely covered by acidic clouds of unknown origin. Spectral analysis detected traces of palladium scattered throughout this geographical zone. I have marked a safe rift jump location for initial reconnaissance on the orbital scanner interface. Titanium has been detected in a large zone of intense volcanic activity. The orbital scanner has been providing some strange readings from this area, with temperatures ranging from 800 to 100 Kelvin. On top of that, it is entirely impossible to get any sensible magnetic field readings from this area. We were able to find a safe rift jump location within the volcanic zone. However, you should expect extreme environmental conditions. All of these locations contain extreme environmental hazards and unknown species of creatures. We should upgrade our equipment as much as we can before venturing out into these new biomes. Okay, that's cool. Warning! An aggressive horde is amassing near our base. So it looks like we can go to new locations. So there's a desert we'll be able to go to to find uranium and such. Oh, dude. Oh, look, we can go across the whole planet. So this is like the jungle biome. And this is the desert biome. And that's kind of the swampy biome. And that's the uh, volcanic biome. So we got to build a base in four different areas. Oh man, but they all link together because that uh, our research will carry over. So if we go build somewhere else, it'll be harder, but it'll be... Um, yeah, because you can see the threat level here is low, but over time it'll probably increase. Yeah, here it's now high. So the longer we're in a place, the worse it is, but that's where we can do most of our research. So the, our initial base could be our research base, but all the other bases are probably going to be uh, for gathering specific resources. Although we still need the basic iron and carbon. And then sludge and whatnot. So the other ones have low carbonium and low iron. Oh, that's going to be hard. Oh, they're low in all other resources. Great. Just great. Oh, now we uh, scan the birds finally. Okay, so now we can learn what the birds are about. So they actually have names and lore. Because this lady cares and doesn't want everything to die to death. Okay, so if we refine fuel, we can also make flamethrower towers. So that's pretty sweet. Prepare to defend our base. All right, let's withstand another attack. Here we go.
Uh, we... Yeah, we might need... To, you're right. We might need to prepare the suit for higher temperatures. That might be a thing. Let's see. It seems to mostly be about weapons, but... Now we were already able to make uh, armor plating. Seems like our mech is okay with surviving in any environment, but like they mentioned, we should probably upgrade it more. So let's do reflective armor and let's get that flamethrower too. That was pretty cool. All right, so we're going to get better armor and a flamethrower. Oh, if you're if you're interested in other games too, yeah, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell and check the description for our schedule down there if you're interested in uh, more of what we live stream and other videos we play. Yeah. So this building's completely full, but we can only have one of it. Uh, alien. Oh, laboratory. Okay. So we can only have one of these that takes water. I don't think we'll have to defend this base, though, when we're away from it. I don't think we'll have to, like, jump back here. If we go to another one. Well, well, yep, exclamation point uh, schedule. Yep. Now, if you're interested in this game, too, make sure you check the description for the link for more information on the uh, graphics card giveaway that we're uh, conducting and also uh, the uh, link to purchase the game, too. Uh, jump on our Discord and just say hi, and um, when we can do our giveaway, we may be able to... I'll have to look into more details about it, but... The, de the developers are giving away a graphics card on their own channel through their own means, and also... A new technology has been developed. I might new be able to get another one, too. A hostile swarm is moving in on our base. So jump they on our Discord upon us. for more information if you're interested in winning a graphics card. Everybody who's tuned in today. Everybody who's always here and always hanging out is eligible for more giveaways. You, could you imagine missing out on all these giveaways? I'm holding on to some extra big giveaways, though, for our million subs, so... Make sure you smash join, too, and become a member if you want to help unlock even full. more. Build more storage facilities. We have so many giveaways to do, I'm excited. Oh. Base is under attack. Ugly aliens are coming in. Okay, so now we're learning more about the species that we're fighting against. That's interesting. So wait, now, if we go to our database, does it tell us their weakness? Ah, the more we encounter them, we might actually learn about them. So the Canoptrix are like the little Zerglings. And the Hammersaurus is basically this thing. It's like a giant rhino with spikes. That's cool. So that's the mud there. We can filter water from that. Placing some mines now.
Harmonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Okay, use the orbital scanner interface to rift jump to different uh, distant locations. All right, you guys want to go see a new biome? A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. All right, smash like if you want to go see a new biome because it's not all jungle. It's there's desert and stuff too. I wonder where we should go. What do you think, chat? Where should where should we go next? What what biome do you want to see? Research completed. Okay, we can do gas energy now. Nice. Where can we go? So we can go to the radioactive desert. That sounds sweet. One of the largest continents on the planet. It's a barren radioactive desert. Orbital scanning indicates the presence of heavy elements such as uranium and thorium. Uh, scout the area in search of potential sources of nuclear fuel. The acidic plains. Uh, Polydium has been detected in a strange planetary biome that's covered by dense acidic clouds. Search the area for new resources and gather data on the source of the acidic emissions oh man that must be a really hard uh area to get power in too because i'd imagine it being all foggy so it's like solar probably won't work but if it's a swamp there's probably not a lot of wind either so we might have to do so we just finished gas research so we might be able to like use the sludge to refine it to oil to make an oil power plant volcanic uh, biome. Orbital scanning detected traces of titanium within the most volcanically active continent. Uh, scout the area in search for new resource deposits. Warning, intense temperature anomalies have been detected. Oh. So each of the biomes might also have hazards we have to worry about. So in the volcanic area, it might be like giant eruptions. The acidic plains could be like toxic clouds that could corrode our spacesuit and radioactive desert probably could have maybe solar flares or something since it's so hot okay how's our research going liquid weapons is being researched next solar panels will be good in the desert though that seems like a good start yeah we're working on uh actually we've already unlocked gas we have gas power plants unlocked so we can build that now for the uh the swamp biome Rift Magnetic Stabilizer. Oh, we can make something called Super Coolant. Okay. Or just regular water. Carbonium Factories Level 2. Hmm. Or Headquarters Level 4. Let's do the upgrade for that. Yeah, we're going to research all the previous towers and stuff, too. We should get all this research done, and then we'll do level 4 last. We'll get the rift stabilizer going, then we'll do the, the base upgrade. Okay, let's go to the desert, see what that biome looks like. Uh, let's see. Hype radioactive desert reconnaissance. Let's go. Okay, this seems really cool. There, so there's like four different biomes in the game. The jungle, uh, the swamp, the volcano, and the uh, desert biomes. Wait a minute. successful. Environmental scanning in progress. The natural background radiation in this area is very high. It would kill most living organisms from Earth. My standard radiation shielding can withstand these levels of exposure without any damage. However, if the background radiation is so high in this area, then we can expect much more intense sources of gamma particles. These could pose a serious threat. The protective atmosphere is also very thin in this area. UV radiation from the sun could pose a real threat. No wonder this area looks like a desert. Uh -oh. We'll have to improve environmental shielding on our structures before setting up a larger outpost in this area. Oh. Yep. Ashley, we should gather more data about this area. Oh, oh God, ew, ew. 
to develop improved radiation and UV shielding for both my armor and our structures. Oh, there's spiders. Oh, it's totally, it's totally Starship Troopers. Totally. Hitman, thanks for the 10, dude. Appreciate the support. Oh, man. All right, what do we have here? The, the mush bit? Oh, gross. It's okay, like an ant let's spider. Let's try to scout as much area as possible to feed your sensors with enough data. Okay, so we need to... What they want us to do is fill up 30 of these boxes. Can we go down here? Okay, so we can't go near the crystals. That'll hurt us. The moth ray. Okay. Those guys aren't too bad. <laughs> Just step it on them. Okay, so we need to worry about walking near crystals. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Yeah, they got me cornered. And they want me to scout out the map a lot. The sun is very intense today, and it's still intensifying. There's no atmospheric shielding in this desert. It's going to start dealing serious damage soon. What do I need to do? Find a cave? The sun is burning our armor and structures. Wow. This biome's dangerous as hell. Sun can be so intense that it'll just damage buildings. Can I stay in the shade? Nope. Wow, radioactivity is trying to kill us. Solar activity. Solar radiation is getting back to normal. Doesn't last long though. This is definitely Australia. Uh, maybe. Cooling unit? Um, I think they say we need shielding. Like we just need uh, basic, like armor upgrades, but. This biome is hostile as hell. I wonder if this area is handcrafted. I'm sure some areas are probably procedurally generated. Or at least there's probably like a survival game mode for that.
We're gonna have to make more repair kits too. Can we have more than one standard armor to equip? Yeah, it might be possible to do that um, because under the under the uh, upgrades menu right now we have uh, armor plating and energy sensors, so we might be able to get like advanced armor for damage, but then also like environmental protection too. It could be possible. We'll just have to keep researching stuff, which which we are. So what's nice is that like we can still do research while we're research in completed. while we're in this biome. Like we're still researching while we're here. So we don't have to defend our other base, but we can definitely keep doing research while we're here. We're just going to try to get to 30. Plus, I think our shield also might protect us from uh, solar damage, too. We might see. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, I like the whole idea of like having the cool stuff. Like the base building in this is a little bit more advanced than just like you know, dig stone, build wall. Ashley, I'm detecting a new species of creatures that have very unusual movement characteristics. That sounds very interesting. Oh no. The creatures in this biome are unlike anything that we've seen before. Does he mean Let's go sandworms? Let's location and try to learn more about it. Oh god. But I like how it's like it it's not it's not really lowbrow uh base building or anything. There's and it's not complicated either. Like it's mostly it's mostly just mine a resource and it'll be turned into something else at the site. So, like, if you make uh, an iron mine, it'll just turn iron into steel automatically. You don't have to do, like, a lot of conveyor belts, which is cool. This this game does a lot of things well. Like, I'm surprised that we're actually able to explore right now. I was just expecting just base build, base build, base build all the time. But it's, like, equal parts combat, equal part base building, equal part research. Like, it's nothing too complicated. Which makes it fun without having to be too too into one thing. Like it's not just like you're this defenseless mech that has to make the base to defend you. Fascinating. Look at this creature. It has a very dense and thick carapace. Yet Ooh. it moves very swiftly over sand. We should study this species further. I can sense a few of these creatures in this area, but this won't be enough to gather samples for research. Let's pass this creature's characteristics to the orbital scanner and look for a location where we can find more of them. Affirmative, Ashley. We should have some results available shortly. Oh. I wonder if by studying the local um, scanning creatures... Completed. We found a location that looks like a breeding ground for the Stregoros species. We can go there to study it further. I wonder if by finding these creatures, it'll help us to reverse engineer their biological, like, knowledge into armor. So we can, like, we can use their genetics against them by using all that to make better armor and equipment. That's cool. that.
so many of them. Jeez. It looks like an earthquake is coming. The earthquake's epicenter is near our position. It will deal serious damage to all our buildings in that area. Stone statue. Oh, if we pick up the green stuff, that increases our knowledge. Okay, we definitely want to gather specimens. So yeah, if we gather enough of this, it might give us more knowledge for new armor and stuff. Advanced UV shielding and radiation shielding in the alien laboratory. Oh, cool. So now we can research shielding. Yep, so you're right, chat. We can definitely research more shielding. Maintenance tools. Energy sensors. Drones. Oh wait, that's alien laboratory we want. So we can now build something called a research station. Oh, there it is. Environmental shielding from the sun. And radiation. Okay, we better do both of those then. Mr. Riggs, I think that we can use the natural background radiation data that we've just gathered to filter out the naturally occurring radiation within the desert dome. We can use the orbital scanner to search for even higher condensations of radiation to pinpoint a possible location for extracting nuclear fuel necessary to finish constructing the rift station. Affirmative, Ashley. Wow. We should have some results available shortly. Orbital scanning completed. Wow. Ashley. We've detected a new area within the desert biome that can potentially contain higher condensations of radioactive elements. I have marked its location on the orbital scanner interface. Excellent. We should go there as soon as possible. It would also be good to have the radiation shielding research finished before going on that mission. Okay, so we shouldn't go... Mission complete. Use the planetary scanner to return to HQ. So, oh, this is... Dude, I like how they did this, man. Like, we just didn't come here, like, full balls to the wall, like, quick build a base. We're going to constantly be attacked. I, I like what they're doing here. You know, like, it's... Like, we got to build a base and defend it. That's part of the game. But it, it feels like this is all equal parts. I was honestly expecting to just be, like, nonstop, just, like, hammered to, by enemies until we were dead. But... I like what they're doing with the story here by like going around to different like areas and we actually have to study and research and learn. It's not just like, you know, it's not like we just show up and start blasting and then building mines. I mean, it's kind of that, but I like how we have to be, you know, everything's kind of tedious in a nice way. Cause then, yeah, that's, that's great. And then we got to gather samples from a different area. So there's different maps of the same biome. That's so damn cool. I love that. Uh, let's see. There's no permanent outpost. Teleporting to a different planetary waypoint will discard position and you will not be able to return. Are you sure you want to continue? Well, I guess we're told to go back, so... Mission complete. Use the planetary scanner to return to HQ. I guess. I mean, I'm sure there's more stuff here, but... Kind of seems a little funny, though, doesn't it? Like... We've been here, so why would we not know how to get back here? <laughs> like, isn't it saved in our GPS? Okay, well, whatever. That just means that when we come to somewhere else, we can... These two locations will be saved. Actually, wait, isn't this where we are now? Oh, it's pretty close. Okay. Well, let's go back to base like we're told. Just following, following the instructions. Bum, 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 bum. 
So again, guys, today's stream is sponsored by the developers of The Rift Breaker, which is available now on Steam. And if you'd like to get it, the link in the description will help you. You can also join our Discord uh, so you can be eligible for a giveaway for a GPU. Uh, they're doing a giveaway on their own uh, Twitter or their own stream or whatever plans they have for the rest of their GPUs. Just make sure you check them out. Link's in the description. And uh, if we get to additional GPUs to give away as well, I it's definitely want to do that. It's good to be back at HQ. Which we might. Much safer here. I'll have to check it out. Ashley. Remember that we can travel between planetary locations using the orbital scanner interface whenever you are ready. You can also check our list of objectives on that screen. Okay, Mr. Riggs, let's check to see if our base is still intact. Then we can go back to exploring other biomes. Yeah, our base seems fine, ma'am. So this is actually our main base. We're going to use this to go to other locations. Wind has stopped. Other biomes. This it's... will affect wind turbine power generation. That's cool. Hmm. So the suit makes jumps and landings, or is it a portal function? Yeah, it works via a rift. So um, many of the more advanced buildings require. If we a lot press tab, we can teleport between upgrade. stuff locally there and also on the planet. This resource in this area to cover our needs, Mr. Like Riggs. That. Can you calibrate the planetary scanner to search for more cobalt? Affirmative, Ashley. I'm starting the scanning procedure right now. Good. Start the scan procedure. Orbital scanning completed. We have found a new planetary location that is rich in cobalt deposits and would be perfect for establishing a new cobalt mining outpost. Excellent. It's even located within the tropical zone, so it should be more hospitable than the other areas of the planet that we visited. Let's go there as soon as possible. Okay, so now we're going to start a new base in this biome in a different area and start a cobalt mining operation. Good. Uh, Shivani Gaming saying, love from Shivani Gaming? Well, love from uh, me. Thank you very much for the support. That's nice. Thank you. Okay, so cobalt mining outpost is... Pretty far, but that's fine. So do we need to research cobalt mining any further? There's carbonium factory and iridium. Ammo storage. Oh, these are synthesizers. We can make synthesizers, that's cool. Uh, rare. Oh, that's what we want. Rare mining element. So that produces cobalt. So we got to get our base to level four. Oh boy. Okay, well, let's cancel the environmental shielding for now. I can't. Okay, we'll have that ready before we go back to the other biome. So what we'll do is we'll finish that research, then we'll upgrade the HQ to level 4, and then that'll allow us to research the rear element mine, so then we can do cobalt after that. I've detected an unusually large creature roaming the nearby area. Uh-oh. Sounds like an interesting research specimen. We should go to its location and see what we can learn. Kill it to death, you mean, ma'am? Uh, this gives you a, a uh, this gives you a Dyson Sphere program vibe. Yeah, it's funny because like this this looks nothing like it, but it is. Like it doesn't seem like it, but it totally is. <laughs> it like it it doesn't look like it or feel like it, but yeah, it kind of feels like it. are returning back to regular strength. But it doesn't. Wind turbine power production is returning to nominal levels. Okay, let's go uh, find this big old creature. The only thing I don't like so far is that we can only do research one at a time. Which kind of makes sense because we're downloading it. So, like, you know, like, if you were trying to download one file and then you were trying to download another file, it, like, cuts the speed in half or whatever, you know? Like on your internet. I guess what I'm trying to say is that this game shows that in the future Comcast is still around. 
This is a dystopian future where Comcast is still a thing. And download speeds are still limited. Factorio vibe? Uh, lightly. It's a light sprinkling of Factorio. The more and more I played this, like when I first played it, I was like, oh, this is Factorio, but like was like Starship Troopers Factorio. And now I'm just... Every, every second I play this, I'm thinking it's like another game and another experience. This is really well done. I, I hope a lot of other uh, people end up playing this because it's really much more diverse than I thought before. Let's go here. Yeah, this game's a lot more diverse than I was Warning. expecting. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. You should go there and clear it out. <laughs> Get wrecked. Where's the big creature? Oh, cloakers. Predators. Cool, there's a new invisible one. You gonna try out the demo tonight? Yeah. That, uh... That demo, man... I'm really glad I got to play this, because this is much different and, like, more in-depth than the demo was. Like, okay, here's what... I, okay, everybody pay attention for a second. You see all that lush landscape, all those different trees and leaves and, you know, the like how the ground looks and all the lush grasses and stuff and the mushrooms and stuff? That's what this game is. Like, it's, it's like a biome itself of, like, technology research, base building, mining, storyline, good voice acting. At least in my opinion, I think it's I think it's all good. So it does a... Excuse me. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. So like I was saying before I was Warning. rudely interrupted. A group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. It's a pretty cool game that allows us to like do a lot of research and puts care into all the creatures rather than just like one of the creatures being called a glurp glurp and then you never get to hear another thing about it. It actually tells you a little bit more. I like it. I like it a lot. Now where's this big creature? Is that it down there? Or is that where the attack's coming from? Find the creature's location. Well, they said they detected a big creature, but I guess we don't know where. Yeah, I like the geothermal uh, plant. There he is. It can be dangerous to our base. Kill it before it kills us. We'll finish researching it in the lab. Oh god, I pissed it off. Oh boy. Speed is at a 
low today. Wind turbines are you less haven't found the glurp glurp yet. No, we haven't found the glurp glurp yet. I have no idea. Trying to lure that thing back to our base. So aggressive. Oh, Maybe we got we him. We can learn something important after researching it in a lab. Wind is picking up again. Okay. Uh, I think we collected the body, yeah, because it. I think it automatically sent it for research. Alright, so now the only other thing we've got to do now is prepare to go to another biome. But I think that'll be cool. Alright, I want to give everyone a final reminder, by the way, that I may. I may possibly have another uh, graphics card to give away from AMD for everybody watching. Now the developers are doing their own giveaway or have done their own giveaway, so just make sure you check out what their plans are on their uh, sources down below. There's a link in the description uh, with a post from them on how to win their graphics card, but I may be able to choose one of my own winners from my Discord, so... Is full. If you've Build not smashed subscribe for free, if you've not turned on the notification bell for free, if you've not smashed like for free, if you haven't joined the Discord for free, then you're going to miss out on a free giveaway for an AMD graphics card. Might be worth it. Graphics cards are really a pain in the neck to get right now, and this game has some extra game modes that blend well with the AMD graphics card they're giving away that make it look even more beautiful. The lighting and stuff in the game looks great, especially with the flashlight and stuff, so that's really nice that they put in there. It actually looks pretty cool, the lighting like that. That's a nice little feature, I would say. Uh, let me make sure I save too, just in case there's a crash. Wow! Haven't had any problems with this game at all. Really well polished. Saving in progress. That'll probably be done in a second. That's cool. We can keep playing while it saves. Thank you. Yeah, to be fair, it had a ton of buildings to save. Nothing's got through our base so far. Alright, let's see. Where else can we go to? Let's see what our current objective is. Uh, let's see. Upgrade or build more communication hubs to increase download speed. Download speed right now is 2 out of 2, so we can't really increase it at the moment. Alright, we're waiting for resource production to be finished. 6 minutes, and then another 11 minutes, and then we can get the cobalt. I guess our current, our true current objective is to go to the cobalt mining outpost to mine cobalt, but look at that. Threat level high, carbonium is high, medium cobalt. There's a little bit here, but yeah. Is a crazy expansion possible? Yeah, you can, you can build a... Uh, the base kind of however you want but a good idea is to kind of do it like how you do in they are billions where you you build a ring of defense and then you build another ring of defense and then you just kind of keep expanding it and going on yeah there's lots of stuff to scan in the game like every every time that there's like uh, something to research if you do that it gives you I don't know more buy it like more knowledge about the biology of this planet which might be good for something in the future. There's got to be a reason to do it other than just to do it. It seems like that's how it goes. Okay, I'm setting up mines around our base. I like how we're not setting up one base in just one biome, but that we get to build a lot of bases in different biomes, so that way they can take, uh, they can benefit from different 
parts of the planet and bring them all to one zone. Uh, bioenergy farm build. Yeah, it seems like we can do that. We could build a uh, biometric farm by growing stuff and then harvesting it for biomass, although we're producing plus 800 energy now because of our geothermal plant. So that worked out nice. Oh yeah, I forgot we could also uh, repair if we go to the HQ. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Right, let me check something here. Alright. We have one more research research item up north. The red yellow dot. Uh this thing? Yeah, we can go up there and see what's up there. Let's go take a gander. Oh, nice. There's more. More geothermal energy. Not enough animal biomass. to trouble. I'm setting up a perimeter. We're going to be attacked by aliens for sure. The moment we start mining this thing out, we're going to be swarmed. The enemies get tougher over time? Um, yes. Warning! A hostile group of creatures is heading towards our base. Yeah, it seems like their, their attacks will get more aggressive. And also, uh, the other bi biomes that we go to seem like they'll have more interesting creatures. Alright, let's let her rip. Here comes the money, money, money. There they are. That didn't work out too bad. Doing some drilling, brother, brother, amen, yeah. Ow. Oh. oh, it's actually cobalt. Oh, nice. That was a lot of cobalt. That was worth it. And we've got some fungus regalia. Nice. Okay, that was that was good. There's a bunch of cobalts in there. Well, now we got to go start a cobalt mine. Let's teleport back to base. Carbonium storage is full. 
Build more storage facilities. Carbonium. Okay, let's see. Um, level... Okay, so we're researching the carbonium, then we got five minutes for the level four headquarters. Wait, does that mean we have rare earth complete? Oh no, rare earth is after that. Okay. So what we gotta do is we gotta finish basic resource production, then we need to research level four headquarters for five minutes, then we need to upgrade the headquarters, which will probably take another five minutes, and then we'll be attacked, and then we have to upgrade and research rare elements, so that way we can um, mine out the cobalt in the other section. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. This game reminds me of Project Danger. McHale. An aggressive horde has oh, entered really? the area. It is less than a minute away. Chat, remind me of this. Uh, somebody in uh, chat, DM me this McHale game on the Discord, please. A new technology has been developed. That sounds new interesting. New buildings are available for construction. This is only the surface of this game, too, by the way. Like, look at look at all the research we've started and how much more there is remaining. Like, we're research not even... Completed. We're not even, like, halfway. And there's other crazy defense towers, like... Uh, these flamethrower towers that level two towers. Then level three towers of rocket, Base cannon, artillery, flamethrower. That's, that's crazy. These creatures are crazy, too. Well, that went well. They couldn't even break the level one wall. Wait, I didn't mean to do that. Now yeah, they could barely get through the uh, basic wall. There must be advanced walls. Hence, this one is basic. Okay, how much time is left on the research? Three minutes. And then we can come back here. I don't think we should go to the other biome until... Uh, until we're ready here, because apparently we got to build a rift or something, so... Alright, so the goal is... Wait for three minutes and then upgrade the HQ. And we'll make sure we save. Uh, save game. Cool. Very good. Bum, 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 bum. Alright. Yeah, the uh, the symbol in the upper right corner is the uh, 9 out of 88 is AI cores, which control guns and a few other things. So we just got to build more of those. Essentially, it's like another way to use power. Like at the night time, we, go, we drop into the negative power, but that's why we have storage. So we would still need to be in the positive during the day. So um, things like the alien research and the communications hubs consume power all the time. Uh, but then we can produce more power during the day. But geothermal plants are probably the best because they produce power nonstop, consistently. Plus 200. It's good stuff. All right, this game has a demo available on Steam and a prologue, I'm pretty sure. But also is available as of today. The Rift Breaker is a pretty damn good game. Actually, this is way better than what I was expecting. And by better, I just mean more diverse. Like, I, I, knew, I thought it was a good game, and I really liked what... Uh, I really Warning. liked what I saw. I'm detecting an intense ion storm coming our way. Oh, great. Due to our recent coronal mass ejection on Galatea's sun, it may disable some of our equipment. Oh, you're saying an EMP blast? Wonderful. So there seems to be, like, disasters that will strike your base, different areas to build in and explore, and an interesting story, and tons of things to build with and to mine and things to kill. This game, I'm really impressed. 
it, it like it goes into equal parts base building exploration mining and the story is pretty interesting too and the ability to try to get people onto the planet f via the rift gate that we're trying to build too that's the that's the major goal that type of thing so all right very nice very nice indeed. All right, guys, that's my time for today on this stream. So thank you very much for joining me. I think we'll be back for more Rift Breaker. It's, just, it's too fun not to uh, play again sometime in the future. And uh, if you like building games like Factorio and Dyson Sphere Program, this might be for you too with a little sprinkling of They Are Billions and StarCraft and um, Supreme Commander. There's definitely some influences in this game. The devs did a damn fine job of making what I would say is a delicious pizza. It's definitely a, a very good mix of ingredients here, and it makes it... I like it. All right, guys, today's uh, stream, by the way, was sponsored by the developers of the Rift Breaker. Link in the chat or in the description uh, for the uh, link to the Steam page for this one. You can also check them out on Twitter with the other link in there in a How to Win a Giveaway on their uh, Twitter. And we have a graphics card to give away for all of you, too, in our Discord. So just make sure you just go, just go say hi in the Discord. And I'll figure out how we're going to do it later. I might do it for whoever's active in the Discord at the time. And we'll just do a random raffle there. Or maybe I'll pick someone who's been active in the chat. So make sure you jump on the Discord. Come say hi. And if, if and when we can, we'll have ourselves another giveaway this week for that. And especially to celebrate 1 million subscribers. So thanks to everybody coming out and hanging out. I think this game's really cool. So I hope you all come out again to see more of the Rift Breaker. Alright guys. Have a good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And I'll see you shortly for our next stream. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And thanks again to the devs of the Rift Breaker. See you next time. Goodbye.